We're going to have uh, Viper and Hera here, our grand final of King of the Desert 5. And it's going to be a best of nine. So everyone, I need to reset the scoreboard. Yep, same. Dealing with the age. same crap right now. <laughs> 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 Capture Age was telling me that Viper was going to win this one, I guess. Capture Age spoiling it, I guess. <laughs> yep. But, you know, as we said, right, Viper picked Dravidians, a civilization that I don't think Hare would ever dream of picking here in a best of nine grand mm -hmm. final on Arabia. And he goes for it his very first game. Um, I was looking through the, the sets that these players played get up, to get up to this point, and there was really only one set that was close, and that was when Viper was down 2-1 versus ACCM and then 1-3-2. But for Hera, yeah. he's never been on the brink of elimination. I don't know what you think, but I think Hera had been playing better Age of Empires 2 in the last two rounds where he had to get past Vinchester and Yo. So I'm curious on how Viper performs here today. He has won three out of the four King of the Deserts. He's won everything there is to win multiple times. Is he going to be able to have that the clean play that he probably needs to beat Hera, who's in excellent shape right now? The thing that is very encouraging if you're a viper fan is that recently um he hasn't been showing that like i'd say hesitancy to attack like when he's not feeling himself he just always kind of falls back mm -hmm. and yeah. walls up right or he'll go for some weird civ pick try a strategy and then resign within the first 20 minutes if it, if it doesn't work right but when his opponent's full wall like we saw against vivi he can punish that yeah. Really, really bad. And he's playing super strong. And we saw it yesterday against MBL, the one game where he uh, was in the corner. I think he was Lithuanians. And he just was banking gold, slowly expanding, slowly taking map control, very Viper esque. But like you said, Hera is still my favorite yeah. coming into this, even though he hasn't been in a KOTD final before. I think semis was the farthest he's gotten. Um, or quarters. No, quarters, was quarters, 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 quarters was the furthest. Yep. Yeah, that was the furthest he's gotten before this tournament, so interesting. Both of them, though, have a very walled map here. Wallable map, rather. Yeah, they um, do. The lines are extremely close. It's one of those maps that if Viper gets his walls down, is probably superior for him because he has more woodline access, and then he has that secondary gold in the back. But mm -hmm. for the start, and we know how important the start can be, I think Hera's map is better. He's already going to wall up towards the edge on one side. His berries are, are nice and snug behind him. And the gold could be somewhat problematic. But again, the opening is, is what you look to when you look for a player like Hera and Viper. So I think Hera will have the easier opening if he wants to open fast here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the berries being at the back is so nice, especially against a Civ like Dravidians. If they're going to go for infantry, if they're going to go for men at arms or something, yep. having the berries is usually the first target, right? If you can't hit a wood line, which you usually can't, you're going for the berries or you're going towards that gold. But uh, the berries being at the back means that Viper can focus kind of on the wood and the gold alone. What's better, Imperial Skirmishers or Skirmishers that fire faster? Uh, I'd say Imperial Skirms. That's what I was leaning towards as well. I mean, if it gets but to that I, stage, the, the Vietnamese have better options anyways, but it's just a thought. Yeah. It's a, it's an extra range, right? Yeah. On the Imp Skirms? Um, like, I don't think it's extra massive. range. Is it? Is, is it? I honestly... Is that it, a it wouldn't surprise me if it was. I, I always thought it was like HP and like attack or something. It feels like it's something I should know. I just know Imp Skirm is really strong, no you know? Range. Okay. Yeah. We, we never see the unit, even when players have access to it. A lot of the times they just are making regular Skirms. Yeah. It's like they forget about it. Viper finally coming forward. He's going to find uh, Hera's base. He'll see the house. He'll assume the TC is to the left. He sees the stone. He sees the gold. Mm -hmm. But no berries sighted for him. And the wood line is going to be awfully close to that TC area, so it's a risk if you want to pressure there. But he has found the little hole at the back. Yeah, true. Something Hera is aware of. I'm, I'm a little surprised. I mean, this really shows Hera's intent here. He's gone up so quick, and he hasn't mm -hmm. even placed, like, four Palisades where Viper is passing that house. So I don't think it's going to be that big a deal, but, I mean, Viper's got two Militia coming forward. He's just now getting Loom, though he hasn't clicked up the Feudal Age yet. Click. When you go up this quick, it's it's so tough, right? Yeah. To get even just 
it, he's placed in two houses there now, but even just like five palisade walls sometimes, mm -hmm. it's more than you can afford, especially with the uh, the villager working time invested into it. But yeah, the militia are coming forward. And like I said, the berries can't really be hit at the back there. This map is insane. Maybe he could lame a villager if they go out to that with the scout, but... Other than that, not many targets for Viper. Viper's going to try and steal a goat here. Just getting some some value from this. And that's creative work from him. And now here's Hera. Oh, he's trying to be aggressive. He wants to drop a stable. He doesn't have the wood because he dropped so many houses. He dropped like mm -hmm. five houses over the last couple moments. And Viper still, wants it's... to know what this opening is going to be. And he's going to see stable, but he still could squeak by with the militia. As long as he doesn't path into the TC. Okay, he's fine. Once Hera gets the walls up on the left side of the TC, it's just like these militia are not going to find any damage. Yeah. They might get some value against the scout, maybe. They might get some value against some houses as Hera is pushing Viper away. Man, these guys already are doing so many little things, especially Hera. Like, the fact that we could call that kind of a messy start just speaks to how good Hera is. Mm -hmm. Because yep. he handled that quite well. I wonder if Viper goes double range here. You get a lot of wood. You get 200 wood, which is a lot now. In Cast Age, it doesn't feel that strong. But mm -hmm. opening in Feudal, he's going to have 400 wood to work with here. And Viper's got 9 on wood, which is standard for a civilization that doesn't get that boost. So, not really the most food right now for Viper. He's trying to wall up the back of his base. Hera coming immediately forward for scouts. Great defense from him earlier. And now it's Viper's turn. And like we said, Hera, very easy walls. For Viper, he's got a lot of work to do here. He's already done the work on the left side. There's still a hole on the edge of the map, but he's done the work there. So now he can put all of his focus over onto the right. And he has mm -hmm. noticed the hole as the range is slowly, slowly, very slowly going up. And Hera will pick away at these vills. Yep. Viper's going to chase him away. And no real idle time caused there. Still a very efficient economy for Viper right now. Not producing any archers right away from Viper. Still seeing an idol next to the range. I mean, these are things you don't normally expect. Second he is adding the though. second range, though. So maybe he learned that from MBL. It felt like MBL did that every game <laughs> when he went archer range units. <laughs> did it ever work out for him, though, other than the first game? Well, for, yeah, first game. I mean, against Sato, it worked out like every game. Sato just kept losing army, but yeah, you're absolutely right. There wasn't a lot that went well for MBL versus Viper. So Hera's in a very comfortable position now. Yeah, and yeah. He's going to be playing Vietnamese, so he can get his eco upgrades. They're not going to cost him wood. He'll probably still delay Horse Color just because that's what he does um, as he drops the farms here. And he'll add an archer range, and he'll be really well defended with scouts and skirms potentially on that hill. Mm -hmm. He's going to be looking really good. And yeah, Viper needs to... Normally, you want to have moved forward with your archers already. Because mm -hmm. you know the scout player is going to transition into skirm. So I think at this point, he's just like, my timing's not there. I just need to ensure that I don't let Hera into my base. Like, he's got to be careful with this tree on the left side. That'll take a while to overchop, though. Uh, and he's just going to wall up the side. So it seems pretty clean from Viper. And if you know Viper, he is known for struggling in the first game of the day, right? I think it used to be a meme, and then it just became reality. <laughs> first game of the day problems for Viper. So this is a clean start, all things considered. I'm looking at the efficiency percentages, and it's just like, it's so similar, right? Viper's been gathering a little bit more than Hera. Actually, like, wow, like 15 minutes more gather time for Viper, mm -hmm. and that should reflect on the, the resources collected. Yes, it does. Um, the food, but though, it's for Hera pretty is good very for nice. Both. Yeah. Hera's got 12 farms. Viper's got eight farms, so it's only going to get better for Hera. And like Viper's ranged opening, there's no real window for value unless he gets to that gold. So he sees now that Hera's got skirms. But remember, Dravidian skirms do fire faster. So there is a world with this mix that Viper could actually be moving out right now. As he's going to lose the scout there, excuse me. And the walls are I up guess for the we snake. Would... We would have to do the math on how many extra hits the Vietnamese skirms can tank with the HP versus how many extra hits the skirms from Viper yeah. are doing, you know? I'm not doing the, it. Uh... I'll, I'll let you do the math. <laughs> Spirit? Spirit of the... Where are Anyone's... you? <laughs> Spirit? <laughs> Soddle? Where are you? Okay, so he Hera... probably did that video already. He's I probably... No, no, no. He will hear about this and it'll happen in a month. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, actually, that's a good idea. 
Well, Viper's still investing into the attack, having not moved out at all here. And again, big questions over the pick of Dravidians. Dravidians just drop off hard in later stages of the game in the Arabia meta we have here. And Hera pushing out. Now, let's see if Hera overextends here. He kills an archer. He'll be very happy with that. And I love how Hera has extended his walls a little bit more around that gold, which is essentially his only vulnerable area. Hera just needs to buy time till Cast Lage here, and he's got a big old army from Viper coming forward to his base to defend from right now. It's crazy that Viper only has like 11 on food right now. He's dropping the market, so he's going to buy himself up. Yeah. You know, Viper has like this big army, and he's read Hera's map um, well. Here, he can see that there's only one main goal, right? And there's hills surrounding everything. Mm -hmm. So if he keeps an army forward and keeps map control, even if Hera's faster to Castle H, he could potentially then get, like, the Pikeman upgrade with Dravidians, come forward with Siege, mm -hmm. and his Siege is going to be cheaper. The thing that's tricky here for Hera, and that, that's a perfect timing on the tower, well played from him. If he didn't place that, he would have had problems there. Is you're going to arrive faster to Castle H, but... There's two advantages you typically want from that. The first one is aggressive army advantage. So typically crossbow mm -hmm. or knights to kill villagers. He's not going to have that. The second one is a town center. But now he's played he's the tower. which You can't is, put it anywhere. And you and, and also that as well. You can't really leave your base. So, you know, Hera could make a knight or two to maybe contest this army that Viper has and hope to get an engagement. But truthfully, I don't think he's going to have a crazy early castle age from what we're he seeing has here. To, he has to either go Elite Skirm or Siege Workshop mm -hmm. to stop this. The Knights aren't really going to find value until you have a mass of them against that. But he does still have these scouts, and he does still have the Skirms behind, so he's probably going to go for Elite Skirm here. And it, he'll try and capitalize on any risk that viper takes coming in through this and wall this is a huge risk come in yeah, like what do you, you really think you're going to break through there viper you know Hera's going to be massing more army now so you've got to be careful if viper can get away his army's got to be amazing but if he were to lose half this army before it's upgraded then suddenly the army counts will be even mm -hmm. and vietnamese have pretty good economy too right you don't have to spend full resources on your eco upgrades which i think is underrated uh though many pros might disagree yeah, Elite Skirm, there we go. And Viper backs away. And Viper's being so clever with it. He doesn't go through the middle of the map because Hera would expect that. He's going to go over to the right side, right? Mm -hmm. He just knows he needs to save this army. Hera almost spotted that with that with the spearman. spearman. <laughs> that is, Hera is once again being killed by wildlife, Tristan. How many games are we going to see this from him? At what point just, is at what point is he just going to turn around and kill these things? <laughs> they never do, dude. They never do. It's going to be chasing forever. Viper is taking the extended route. Yeah, He's on seriously. that map quest, bro. Go with Google Maps next time, man. So that means his army split here, right? Which means Hera's army on the front is the stronger force in terms of what's at Viper's base right now. And that house is going down pretty quick. Now, Viper could place a few more buildings behind this, but I could definitely see there being holes. Elite Skirm for him. Quad Canero. No crossbowman mm -hmm. upgrade. And university, university for him as well, so he could get That's ballistics. That's the Dravidians right there. Yeah. You can afford uh, the university, even though he had limited amounts of wood when he got to uh, to Castle Age. He got 200 extra, and that's very, very nice here. His army is quite large. It is. And uh, Hera only has three knights here with no armor upgrades either. Yeah, Hera's kind of on one TC, right? And, and man, how big of a confidence boost would it be is if Viper needs a confidence boost to win with Dravidians in game one? He's looping in here. Now, Hera's knight's going to see this, and Hera has a decision to make. There was a hole there, so now Viper quick walls are in full effect there, but Hera's going to think about diving. You, you could tell he's just going to send the knight in. Mm -hmm. Hard for Viper to micro, even being Viper in these scenarios, because you have two different armies, and you've got the knight to deal with right now, and, and then your well, gold as well. This is all, all getting so yeah. ridiculous right now. If he clears up this army, he's in a good spot, but he doesn't even have crossbow. He goes for ballistics first. Mm -hmm. Yep. The skirms are chasing after. Harris still no armor on the knights, so the knights are good, but they're not great. Oh, this is extremely messy right now for the Viper. Harris doing the right thing. He he smells blood in the water, and he's just heading to the wood line. And oh man, like the value from Harris skirmishers and knights getting through here is just insane. He's gonna find the Huge. second villager kill. He will lose a lot of army here, so Viper could have a crazy comeback in a few moments. But again, still no crossbow, Dave. Yep. Can't afford it, man. You can't afford it. Look at his worker efficiency. It's at 30% right now for the last minute. Yep. It's terrible. I mean, the knights are going down from Hera at the front. 
He's got more skirms just kind of coming in. And this army will eventually die with Ballistics now and a crossbow on the way. And like you said, Viper has potential now to push back. Mm -hmm. And he's only lost four villagers throughout this. But the idle eco time here was insane. Yeah. Now, let's see how Hera preps for this. I think it's a clear decision here for a siege workshop. There's no other thing that helps you. I'm surprised. Oh, it's a market. I thought it was a university in the back of his base to go for ballistics. But Hera will absolutely be behind in the ranged count. So ballistics doesn't benefit you that much. And like, now it's Viper's Viper... time to counterattack. Yeah, he goes for a TC. Do you think as well about going for a siege workshop forward? Because you know Harry's not going to have an army to compete with this. I think like, you, you just cleared up your army. You have to assess the situation first, right? Like if you go try to commit to that now, you might get over there and then Harris is already up and we see it plays. Mm. So I think, you know, try and get some army momentum. He absolutely needs to leave his base. Um, and then from there, yeah, maybe forward siege. You might actually be in a position where you need defensive siege. But competitive game here. Viper with the population lead. But Hera is definitely going to be in a position to defend from this by the time Viper gets across. Hera's still not adding that second TC. He still doesn't have the stone. He's just going for the siege workshop, like you said. Yep. And Viper can't push from that hill. Hera's kind of trying to keep himself alive. Yeah. I think he senses if he ever gives up that hill to Viper, he's just dead. Like, dead, dead. I also think... Do you, are you really that worried about being five or ten villagers behind against Dravidians? I don't mm. think you think so, right? Like, if you just snowball an army, and here's a big moment, then I think you're always going to have faith that the Dravidians might not have answers once these crossbows and skirmishers are dead. So, because Viper can't make knights to clear up mangonels, right? It's pretty much his own siege, and maybe eventually lots of infantry, which we saw against uh, MBL, Viper loves his longswords. So, <laughs> maybe... Hmm. Mangan I mean, there, can't Viper get too sees far it. behind though. Even with Dravidians being behind by 20, 30 vils. Yeah, agreed. When you're reaching Imperial Age, like Dravidians do have a pretty strong early imp push. Yep. Right? They just they struggle with tech switches, essentially. I really um, want to see no Viper. <laughs> I really want to see Viper make some gates at home so knights can't run through. Like we've seen it so many times where players leave their base a little bit open like this. Mm -hmm. He might have already plugged it, honestly. It's just kind of hard to see. The Viper's oh. looping, and Hera's going to head right to Viper's base. Whoa, we could have a massive base trade here. Maybe. I mean, Hera's got the siege to back him up. Viper's coming in on the gold, but Hera sees it right away. I mean, good recognition there. He also got uh, Town Watch earlier. Viper doesn't so know this is where the well army's coming. Viper is expecting this army from Hera to chase him down. Because Hera just he sees it now. noticed, and now he sees it. Yep. Time to wall on the right side, right? You can't give him that hill. Time to wall on the right side, Viper. Time to wall on the right side. Time to Here's time to leave your main gold. <laughs> leave your main gold, and thankfully you have that gold in the back of your Viper. But again, he has to adjust on the fly, right? This is a lot of adjustment to do, and we saw last time how his eco kind of fell behind due to this pressure. And Hera's going to have a hill. Hera will have plus two armor on the knights. He is forging. He has bloodlines. Lots of upgrades for Hera. Could even deny the Siege Workshop. Viper absolutely needs to complete the Siege Workshop. I'm really excited for this set, dude. Like, even with the reactions here from Viper, it looks like he's playing well. Yeah, absolutely. And Hera's playing super well right now. He's got the plus two armor for his knights. He's getting the plus two armor for his skirmishers. And Viper is going for some defensive siege as he cuts off the army once again from Hera. It's stuck inside the base. Yeah, Hera able to kill the monk. Monk doesn't get any conversions here. Viper does have siege on the way. I was concerned he wouldn't be able to make the siege immediately. He's in a position to do it. Hera's skirm count's kind of low now. Viper has 20 crossbows. Hera's going to have more siege coming forward, but Viper's micro pretty good. Only 12 crossbows in that group against plus two knights. Yeah, true. He's microing oh, it well, but I think you're going to lose the entire army there. And he lost all of his crossbows at home, Dave. Viper's going to lose everything. It's just disastrous. Oh, and now, now you're like, what Re do you do? Behind here. What Re do you make? behind here with the house. Good house there from Viper. Really, really smart stuff. Did he just delete that foundation or kill it himself? It feels I... like you could have sacrificed those three bills to buy yourself a little bit more time. He's now going to buy what? He's buying food. I thought he was buying stone for a defensive castle there for a second, but... Buying food for bills. And so now you're... Oh, you have a civilization that can't make knights, so Hera never needs to add monks. You have no real way of competing against the siege. You're just stuck on crossbow. And I guess for Viper, the hope is to, to delay this somehow. Drop a castle and, and somehow 
you know, keep what you have alive. But there's going to be zero counterattacks from Viper for a very long time here. Hera in his sweet spot, dropping the second TC, and it... You can see the difference in approach already, and I, I believe this will be a theme in the series. Viper's gonna opt for the eco, Hera's gonna opt for a bit more army, and the army's paid off big time here for Hera. And Hera's adding two more stables, and he's got the skirm, so Viper can't even really make a, a switch into pikes. Yep. It's, it's just so brutal, right? And now the crossbow numbers are going down, the knights are in the back, that plus two armor was huge. And it's all because Viper didn't track that army coming across from Hera. And then he just kind of came in behind it with his own instead of maybe threatening Hera's base or looping that army back around into the inside of his base. He left it very exposed to the knights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just really complicated. You know, I think, at least for me, you would think that someone like Viper is not going to have this problem. But I, in that moment, would have thought that the fight would have gone a little bit better for me there with Viper. like the, But it, like you said, you looked and said there's only 12 crossbows. That's probably something Viper didn't realize. Or maybe felt like he, it, with the deceiving numbers he'd do better. But yeah, the Knight's underneath one of the TCs, diving underneath the main TC. Viper's going to drop a castle, but this does not keep him in this game necessarily because the TC could still go down. Again, Viper's worker efficiency is awful. He's got like 24 on stone, 2 on food, and 11 on wood. You can't win games yeah. like this. He knows that Hera is like max 2 TC here, though. Yeah. Plus 2 knights with this production and with the elite skirms and everything. And he can look at his villager count. And the villager count is going to be pretty similar here as we speed up towards the GG. And uh, Viper tapping out. Hera taking that first one. Dravidians, man. Yep. Dravidians. Well played from Hera, though. I mean, like, really well played to keep the pressure at Viper's base. Mm hmm with his map it was good early because viper couldn't do any damage but if viper ever got that hill in front of harris base like he was dead yep he, it was over if he got that hill so and, great job and this game right here is what i is why i have hair well not not this game sorry but like this theme is why hair is my favorite today because in the previous two rounds he played with great military control he never really played greedy and I had said before you and I hopped into the call together that I was curious on how Viper would play because he played against Vivi and MBL where he could be greedy, right? Viper stomped Vivi 4-0 and then he beat MBL 4-1 and he was able to sit back. He was able to opt for the town centers first, but I think optimal Arabia play, you gotta have that army control. And for Viper, he had the army here, Dave, but he just didn't know what to do with it, dude. Like it, he cleared up Hera's army yeah. and then he wandered to the corner Never went to Hera's base because he was concerned about the tower, and then it all just fell apart. So, feels you can't like he could have just run in towards the tower. Yeah, agreed. Gotten some bills. He had ballistics, right? But he, he saw the army, he brought his army back, and it was more of a positioning issue. I don't even think he was necessarily that greedy there because you saw the army production. Yeah, like, that's true. Double range going up to Castledge. I don't think he was just walling up and going eco it's the fact that he lost that fight with the army and then he had nothing the thing absolutely is absolutely nothing it it's a he but he played it like you play civilizations that have knights <laughs> right mm -hmm. yeah, where you true. go for the tcs because if he has that army and can make knights Hera with six skirms and like the knights and then mangonels he can't advance forward with mangonels without monks mm -hmm. and so then it it takes Hera a longer time to snowball the push but you can fall back to eco, in my opinion, with Dravidians because you're just so one-sided. But it's just game one. Viper's known for losing the first game, so Viper fans shouldn't freak out too much. Uh, it is one of his later picks as well, so we'll see how, like... how it goes. The thing about Khmer here in game two is it's, it's all a style pick as well for Hera, right? Mm -hmm. um, he has always valued them higher than other players because he loves to play into scouts and like have. And man, we've got maps that are definitely more open than the previous ones. And Viper's still got some hills to work with. Some big hills near his berries yet again here. But yep. And uh, Hera does too. <laughs> yeah, yep. Hera does as well. That gold is hideous, bro. <laughs> that is disgusting. That main gold. I feel like, yeah, again, Khmer, probably very easy for Hera to play. But... The gold is the last of your concerns if you're going to be going heavy scouts and adjusting. The two back wood lines and the back berries could be very helpful for, for Hera here. Mm -hmm. If he wants to work with that. I mean, I expect scouts. The weakness of Khmer that people used to abuse is that they would say, 
okay, you're not going to make a barracks because you don't have to. So I'm going to make a bunch of spears. But then I think Harold would maybe have to switch into archers. So the gold would then actually be a factor for him. I mean, he could have an issue if Viper were to go heavy on scouts, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. we, I think it was the Vivi against Nikov set we saw it where Vivi opened scouts was Kimura, and I think Nikov might have been, I can't remember what he was, but he opened scouts as well, and they had like nine of them each, right? Yep. And then Nikov just decided to YOLO into Vivi's base, and Vivi couldn't do the same thing to, to Nikov's base. Like, Nikov managed to kill three or four Vils inside of his base be with the scouts because there were no spears in defense. Yep. And... Then Vivi tried to do the same thing after Nikov lost all his army, but Nikov had like three spears. Exactly. Yep. So that's a potential weakness of Kamur not having that barracks available. I think the other thing too is you don't want to fall into the trap of thinking, oh, I'm Kamur, my villagers can hop inside of houses. Let's not wall. No, you yeah, can't play that game. Yeah, they're going to stay there. Yeah, exactly. You can't play that game. <laughs> stay there. Uh, and we've seen Hera and Viper both play that game with the Kamur over the years, but I think people are kind of figuring out now that... <laughs> saving your villagers isn't really the priority. You still need to have lots of army control. Um, and you can tell by Hera's house placement next to his wood line. I know it's a small thing, but he's already thinking about the uh, need for walls. Because sometimes players will place the house right by their lumber camp if they're planning on yep. staying open. What did you think about MBL's approach with the Khmer yesterday? <laughs> the forward barracks? <laughs> Honestly, I really liked it. And it was good. It was good. I think he could have had the game if he took a, a better timing fight with the Pikes and Scorps. Mm -hmm. um, I also believe that, and MBL would probably be like, I don't even know this guy's name, but I think like maybe Kongen or Emil, they're these two Denmark 2K2 players, might need to be credited for that because I'd seen MBL get forwarded by Khmer <laughs> so many times. So uh, that was prop props to those guys. A little shout out for them. And Viper tries to kill the Vil. And there you see that bonus for the Khmer paying off. And Hera just hops inside the house. And I imagine we'll head back to work here. But he goes over to the other side to hang out with her friends. Yeah, I was going to say, is numbers. she going to stick around? Because I think maybe you should pull that villager away from the woodline because Viper will be looking mm -hmm. for her. Viper goes for the mill and he clicks up 19 population and it is 18 population up here for Hera as he starts to go for the wall at the back. Mm -hmm. So he is definitely planning on uh, trying to full wall this base and he even goes for the wall on the right side. Wow, that's really good scouting from him to have seen this other wood line in the south. And he's mm -hmm. he's gone from playing more, well, I guess he didn't play more open in the previous game. He just had a better map to wall. Hera's going for tons of walls here. Again, he won't have spearmen available, so he's probably thinking instead of the barracks and spending 175 wood for that, I'll spend less than 175 wood to just full wall my map. I like it. Mm -hmm. You would expect... It's going to be uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a stretch deco with yeah. three villagers walling here, and you're up on 18 pop, even with Khmer. Yeah, it's going to well, be a little bit tough. You want the, the house... And you want the stable as far as wood is concerned, both of which you can afford, but I think, oh no, he's got the house timing right. You then want the wood upgrade, and you delay the farm upgrade, and Hera, we see him skip horse color pretty frequently, so. The timing seems pretty good. Could have a concern here with this vill with any other Civ, but Viper won't attack that villager on the wall because Hera can hop inside that house. Get your scout in there, go back to the wood line. <laughs> you know Hera is a big stickler for efficiency. He won't want to send that weak vill <laughs> back to the TC. <laughs> Maybe you can snipe it. Interesting, Viper's just now figuring out the amount of walls that Hera's going for. Hera does have a gold behind these walls, by the way. It's, it's next to the wood line, so he might just give up on the main gold. What and... an interesting wall off here for Viper as well. Yeah, seriously. Like, it actually really creative it, with it, the production buildings. It's forcing Hera all the way over to just the berries, where you can keep the spearmen. What a great job from Hera to, to figure out how to wall this. Like, now that you look mm -hmm. at this, you look at Viper's base, and you're like, what can he do? And Viper just says, I, I can't really find a way to wall my bases easily because I don't have the wood lines positioned properly. Because Viper's yep. basically got two, and Hera's got three. And not to mention, I guess that fourth, which is kind of, that's not expected to be generated next to a player. That is also assisted Hera here. It's still like, 
It's pretty hard to do damage to Viper's base, though, if you're Hera. Yeah. You're going to need the range to do anything. You're not really going to find any value with the scouts, especially against Lithuanian Spearmen. If Viper sees the scouts coming, he'll make another one. And he's got scouts of his own. The wood line can't really be ranged. The gold is now secure. Mm -hmm. I like what Viper's done here with his wood line. If he mm -hmm. tried at this point to just wall, Hera's going to have scouts out, and then he's going to have to quick wall way too much. We know he can do it, but it's just too much focus on that and not enough on eco efficiency. Also, I think additional scouts from both players make sense because Lithuanians will eventually want lots of relics. And we saw Hera versus Vinchester have quite a few scouts with Italians, I think it was. And he was able to use those scouts uh, effectively in the attacks. Now that I say it, I think he actually let Vinch get three relics, but it didn't matter. Um, Hera with six scouts soon, Viper only with four and not creating any more. But he's just keeping track of Hera. They're both in the north of the map right now. Like, yeah, what a I know. weird they're both spot. In such a <laughs> random spot up here. And I think they're both kind of content with this, right? Viper, you know, he just wants to. Uh, get oh, his Hera's trapped. And Hera just wants to try and go up to Castle. Yeah, he is. And there's a spearman in there. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hera can, Hera can oh, micro his way out of a lot God. of things, but I don't think he can micro his way out of this one. So, oh, boy. The Woodlines help Hera at the start at his own base and hurt him there. As he loses two scouts, and now Viper's going to be really happy with the fact that he didn't produce as many scouts as Hera did. Good stuff from Viper, and a little bit of good fortune for the snake. I also really like how Hera's walled up in front of the TC, because mm -hmm. we see players run right by the TC time and time again well, these days. That's the thing with Kimura as well. Like I was saying, you can't make spears. Yep. So if the scouts are ever in, and your scout numbers aren't at home, you're hiding in the houses and you're staying there for an extended period of time. Yeah, not so what you want to do. So walling in front is very, very smart. That's how Vivi got burned, is a little hole in front of the TC. I Man, I love the creativity on the way that Viper secured his base against Hera. Like, Hera hasn't come forward with the scouts, to be fair, because Viper's been controlling him, but it's it's so safe for so few wall Yeah, uh, agreed. Yeah, the concern now is, should he have ventured forward with his spears? I don't think the spears give you any value on the front right now. Maybe one's there so Hera can't come attack you. But Viper's realizing, okay, this is a waste for me. I've done a pretty good job. I just need to make sure I'm defended. And he does have two spearmen on the berries waiting. So that's Viper fine. also has hor horse collar advantage, which <laughs> we know because Hera just always delays it. Yeah. Always delays it now. Yeah, it's an interesting one. I feel like scout builds horse collar is still more than worth it. But, uh, Hera was walling a lot, though, so I could see why he might not have wanted yeah, to go for it. Team pop Viper, yeah. okay, he was must have been building a house somewhere, and I missed it because he ends up fixing that problem there. And, uh, you know, Hera's going to be a nerd. He's making more scouts. I th think the reason Hera's making more scouts is because he was late to gold. Mm -hmm. So he's like, well, I'm going to have like a thousand food before I get the gold, so I might as well At just make I a few more. At least I trade that time for map control. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Viper's going to be up. Really, really solid game from both of them so far. 20 seconds vital TC time from Hera. 26 from Viper. They're keeping that under control. Viper's about to be done with the berries, but his food eco is still looking very nice. And he's just slowly, patiently adding to this wall at the front. And then he can wall at the north. There in between the two wood lines when he gets a chance when Hera's not prowling around mm -hmm. with all of these scouts. And I, I love the fact he's adding more, too, on the yeah, way up. Agreed with that. Air will click up in a moment. For now, he's trying to punish Viper for not having the army to deal with him and just being annoying. I, I still always pref prefer full wall versus mm -hmm. no walls here, right? With the players of this caliber, Viper just doesn't have any opportunity to do damage. And Hera, he's going to be on the prowl here. So I think Viper needs really good TC spots eventually. Uh -oh. It makes me nervous when I see four scouts from Hera. <laughs> around a TC, around the farm eco, right? We know what he can do. And he's so patient with it, too. Like, he'll pick away at HP, catalog it, that the villager is weak in his mind, then he'll come back mm -hmm. two minutes later to get it. Yeah. Viper, his five spearmen are not going to be enough once Hera gets upgrades. Mm -hmm. So you either consider to make a few more here, or you're just planning on some knights. Hera's scouts come home to deal with Viper scouts. Viper, he does expect that. At this point... You might be a little distracted by Hera's other scouts. You might be thinking about setting up your base to Castle H, so that's good awareness from Viper. And now you see one Spearman go down, and that's just so easy for this to happen, for Spearman to just get split up like this. But Viper goes Light Cav. 
He goes husbandry. He doesn't go for pikemen because he can't actually afford it. Also drops a monastery, but will he be able to get relics if Hera has this many? As Hera takes an engagement versus two spearmen again. And again, the spearmen go down. Amazing play from Hera, but something that Viper should really expect at this stage of the game. Yep. He really needs to wall that top side, right? He's getting it secured around the front of his TC. And uh, if he gets that top side, he will have some options. Mm -hmm. He has another wood line to go to potentially. His farm eco is going to be safe from these soon to be light cav coming in from Hera. And Hera is going for that second TC. Viper is forced to invest into more military. Yeah, and, and I don't think additional spearmen actually help you. We'll see if I'm right on that. Viper's got to be super careful he doesn't have that gate open at the wrong time because Hera's looking mm -hmm. for it. And that's where Viper's sending new vills. The Hera's just fully walled and Viper can't do damage and Viper's just going to have to react. The good news is he's not Dravidians this time. But the bad news is... taking a decent-ish fight. They're getting, they're getting a lot kill. of HP damage, but Hera taking them all out in exchange for one light cap. They got some HP yeah. off of those light cap, which is decent. Viper also protecting a monk, getting a relic right now. Hera doesn't have any knights. So, you know, it, it, Hera's going to have to build up towards something more offensive than Light Cav if Viper's defending with knights. Yeah. And Viper drops and that, TC. <laughs> that town center. I think it's safe to say this map is less than ideal for him, but he's making yeah. it work here. Yeah, that, that's a nice TC, honestly. <laughs> like, his farmers can drop off there. It's going to protect the gold. It's just the it fact is. that he only has one wood line, bro. Yeah. He's only yeah. got one wood line, and he drops the other one on the stone. And, and like, Hera look, might even see this with the light cap. Look at all the back them. wood. Look at all this free space Hera has in the back. Like, this game yeah. is so much more difficult for Viper to play right now, but he's making it work again. He's going to drop another TC on the stone. They're all Ooh, in the Hera same almost spot. Seeing the monk. He's almost seeing the monk. Viper saw the light cavern. He dodged away from it. And Hera's going to miss that monk, dude. And Viper's going to get a second relic. Oh, that's oh, huge. Oh, wow. This is sneaky stuff here from Viper. Two relics is going to make a big difference. And he even saves this vill, maybe? No, it's Hera. He never saves this Yeah, vill. that's a good block from Hera. But I mean... First villager kill of the game. The TC is going to go up for Viper. He's still got knights around. He's on two relics already. And he has his own light cap to kill Hera's monks. So Hera will yeah. probably get a relic or two, but it feels like this relic that's near the ostrich, near the, the top here, I think that's one that Viper could potentially be favored to get as long as his light cap are on the prowl. The Lith longer this game goes, the longer I favor, or the more I favor Lithuanians in this matchup. I think they have more options than the Khmer. Yeah, they, I, they have more options. It's just like, I feel like with the raid game, like, think about how Hera likes to set up his base, oh, especially Hera of old. This, these days, he's a bit more diverse. He wants walls, he wants castles in the corners, he wants safe farms, and he just raids you to death, right? And so Viper's going to have Viper to likes find to set a... his base, though. Yeah, yeah, Castle true. Castle safe, slow pushes out, building his eco. It could be like hammer meets anvil kind of situation <laughs> yeah. here. This could be a really long game. I think we will see all the techs for the Lithuanians anyways, like the Halb and the unique tech. Third relic, though, dude. And Harris had 10, 11 light cav, and Viper's getting his third relic. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this could be Viper losing a bunch of monks here in a second. And Viper's just going to try Hera, and though. kill the light cav here. He will lose his monks. Harris sees the next monk, but this, this relic is going to be Viper's. This is really good for the Viper right now. Get in the TC, Viper. Get <gasps> in the... Run faster! Run! <laughs> Good stuff. And look at those weak light cap. And Hera could heal them yeah. up, but the fact that he has to heal them up means that he will not be active on the map. Don't tell me Viper's going to kill this uh, this monk in the north from Hera. He's got a light cap waiting there. Oh, he's already killed one, right? Yeah, it's true. You can see the uh, what's left of his, his clothes, I guess. I don't know, but... Robe. His robe. Thank you. I was looking for the word. Uh, Viper not patrolling that. Hera should get it in the end. So everyone will have the relics collected. 61 villagers for Viper, 64 for Hera. Hera with a little bit more on food. And Hera has now Next killed two villagers. Build. But really good army composition right now for Viper. This is just classic Viper play, isn't it? Like, distracting the enemy army, grabbing the relics while you can, putting your TCs in the defensive location until your wood ru runs out. And then by that point, you're probably going to have enough for a castle yep. or another TC 
and you can go forward and secure some more resources. It's still going to be tough for him, though. He I mean, wood. you look at that that stone position, the secondary gold there, the wood lines yeah. are really rough for him. He absolutely needs another wood line. I think he maybe wants to go uh, for a forward castle on that gold, Mr. Yo style with knights. But uh, Hera's got monks, and Viper should realize how many monks are out there right then and there, and so he backs away now. Well, do Hera's we see the 4 CC now for Viper? It is still hideous. Like yeah, He's been taking the secondary gold, and Hera just now makes a mining camp on that. So Viper knows it's potential area for him to pressure. He's got 1k gold in the bank right now, Viper. I feel like if Viper had a wood line near that TC in the north that he's placing, everything's good, right? Mm -hmm. But still the fact that his only area he's getting wood is about to be overchopped could catch up with him. Yeah, Might even see a fifth another... TC. Well, might even see hill forts. Yeah, true. <laughs> <At some laughs> it's point, worth it. <laughs> it's an underrated tech, man. It really is. Yeah, but the problem is that like if it's only really useful against Manganel pushes. Yeah. And if you're getting pushed by Manganels, you already have a defensive castle to get hill forts. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. So that's the issue with and it. And then like, it's, it's like, tech, why? I, I should just go imp instead of spending however yeah. many resources it is. Or make Latus and go get the Manganels. I, I like actually think it's, it's in the north, very it's useful against die. early imp Arbalest. Mm -hmm. because arbs, you know, are so oppressive. But then again, you're Lithuanians and you have great skirms. So it's like yep. a little tricky. Here we go, Hera. Hera might go forward castle here now that I think about it. He's got pikes, he's got monks. Love how he's got the pikes next to the monks. So that is not enough pikemen to protect seven monks. I don't know. If he sees Viper on that stone with so many villagers, I don't know if he can justify forward castle here, yeah. dude. It, like, your opponent's just going to drop another one, and Hera's going to see that castle right there. Uh oh. Viper's got a ton of knights, a ton oh, of light god. Cav. Oh, God. This could be disastrous for Viper. He'll get, like, one conversion. He could lose a lot of knights here. His monks castle might go not go though. up. There's three monks in the TC for Viper, so he's going to get some conversions back. The Light Cav have cleared up the monks from Hera. The Knights are now clearing them up on the other side. The Light Cav from Hera is still patrolling at the backside of Viper's castle, but he's losing more Knights, and he's not building that castle. He will go for a gate on the other side. There is only one monk left over. He's building himself a nice little area here to complete the castle. Is there a hole? The villagers get off of the wall. Okay, he's making it. That was the best case scenario for Hera. His pikemen get trades on knights, his monks convert the knights, and then he pushed back all the monks from the viper. Oh, and viper. this is, oh, this is so bad. He's had so much It'll work to up. do. Viper's done such a good job to get here. But the losses he's up. taking, he's, he's lost 20 villagers thus far. He, he needs to quick wall that one villager. He's not going to. No. The castle is at 95%. He's at 88 bills versus 94, so it's n still not the worst villager difference ever. And he's going to clear up this army with the TC. You could have avoided that. If you just, like, even after the bad fight, if you just complete that gate wall and don't let the knights come in from the other side, castle goes up and you avoid losing 10 bills. Yeah, it's just, it's just so tricky, right? Because you're expecting to take a better fight, right? All those things are happening really quick. And th the game is just cruise control from here for Hera. Viper has very little army comp to work with. Viper just finished the castle to stabilize his position. His eco balance is crazy. He's got like 20 or so on stone. Still has wood problems as he goes to seed farms. And Hera on the way to the Imperial Age now will be in a position to make trebs with his castle. I'm really concerned for Viper here. I, I don't see what he can really do over the next couple minutes. He knows he needs to get up. He knows he needs to get up. He's idling his TC and uh, villagers being produced still from Hera. As Hera will open Halb. Mm-hmm. And Viper, he just doesn't have the eco for a tech switch right now. Yeah. He, Although he does have 41 on farms now. Which is which is pretty crazy to me. He's genuinely going to... He's not able to go for his own pikes, right? He's not going to have the resources to really add archer ranges. Uh, and, and like the university and whatnot. So it feels like his best <laughs> unit is probably just latest, but he's up against pikes. Right? Also, if he loses that wood line that's really exposed, he's only going to have like a tiny nub yeah. of wood line. He just, he just explored at the back of the corner of the map with a mug. And he's got no wood. Yeah. Figure out if there's a wood line back there, and there isn't. His map generations have been a bit brutal for Viper, but I, Hera has taken advantage of every single 
you know, positive that he, he could. He's turned a lot into positives, I think is the fair way to say it. And he's going to go double castle there. He won't have two castles for, for quite a bit, but he will have the first treb out. And I think we see Halb from Hera, which is obvious at this point. And I'm kind of surprised he's making knights. Honestly, I would just go straight to Hussar. You don't need to have a lot on gold to raid Viper to death here. Cavalier with the Khmer. Cavalier coming in. Dang. And he sold he sold how much stone? He sold 500 stone. Whoa. What? Uh, I guess to get upgrades. He For really Halb wants Halb. Upgrade, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, but do he, you need Cavalier before Halb? It feels like Halb opens first. I'm right? not I'm not sure that the second castle from Hera is all that good for him. I feel like you're already going to have the edge against Viper's castle with Trebs. You yeah. got to protect that main gold. <laughs> like, I guess you can have army to protect that main gold, but that is looking really open right now for Hera. He's got to be careful. In. Villager difference still only about 14 right now. Which is crazy. The knights are coming in from Hera, and we don't even have fletching from Viper, so that castle... Well, it looks like he can defend it. Actually, didn't do any damage whatsoever, and the knights are going to be really annoying at the back. Mm -hmm. But and the main gold, an engagement here. Halb is in, but Latus are pretty strong, and they're taking out the Halbs. They're going to be taking out the Vils, and Hera needs to leave that main gold. You talked about it. Maybe selling the 500 stone there wasn't the best idea ever. At the same time, Hera's Cavalier getting some value, but Viper will put a stop to it after losing some Vils there. That's actually the first time in the series that Viper's killed villagers from Hera, by the way. He's killed, killed two villagers on that gold. He didn't kill any in game one, if I'm not mistaken. Chemistry on the way for Viper. He's walling off his, his uh, trebs here with some gates. It's the second time there's been a gate wall at this particular area of the mm -hmm. map. And yep. it's the second time that Hera is just going to run right around it. Yep. You have no army to protect it. If you're Viper, you've been pulled out of position so many times. Hera's had all the momentum ever since that fight. Even in early Castle Age, it just felt like we were always saying, Viper has to defend this, Viper has to do that. There was never anything that Hera really had to do difficult at home. And he sniped the one Treb, and now Viper's castle is going to go down. And Hera's got more Halbs on the field than Viper. He's got more raiding units on the field than Viper. And he's got the better economy. Viper's in big trouble right now, Dave. Viper is just trying to mass Halbs. He's getting his upgrades. He's going for more barracks. He's at 122 vills, but now he's housed because he lost that castle. Yep. There is no forces at the back of Hera's base raiding. Just one latest there from Viper that's going to get cleared up. And he's still, I mean, he's he's stuck in the corner with very limited wood access, gold access, farms. Yep. TC will go down for Viper. His relics are right behind this. It's one of the only positives he really has right now. Hera is ahead with many of the blacksmith upgrades. Uh, he's getting Iron Casting, or sorry, not Iron Casting, Blast Furnace right now, and I think this is it for the Snake, and I think he needs a mental reset after this. Like, he was absolutely unfortunate with the maps in the first two games, but that fight is going to be a bit frustrating for him, because he could have taken a better engagement. He could have had his castle up, and he wouldn't have lost the 17 villagers he did. It's going to be a long final regardless, because it's the best of nine, but it has been all Hera so far in these finals. And there go the relics for Viper. He's still got a ton of gold, and he's going for another castle in the north. But he's 20-plus villagers behind. Hera's got Cavalier. He's got Halb. He's got the Trebs. He's got castle positions. He's got reinforcements. He's mm -hmm. got everything. Yep. It seems inevitable from here. And we, we knew it would be close. A lot of people are leaning a little bit more towards Hera based on the shape that he had in the previous sets. And, uh, you know, you, you then see the 2-0 scoreline. You begin to worry a little bit for Viper here, man. He's going to fight on, as he absolutely should at 140 pop, but I don't see a win condition from here. He won't have relics, and he doesn't have... If we're just comparing the Halb numbers, you know he's already behind in that regard. He's buying wood now, and buying food. Mm -hmm. Just to maybe drop more oh, barracks as he loses some, make a few more Halbs. What's the win condition here for Viper? I think you just, you, you try and simmer down your mind a little bit in these moments. Um... And you you think about the stakes of the situation and, and realize you got to have the belief in yourself that you come back. He's come back many times before. So I, I do think Viper knows it's over right now. He's got 
no way to come back in this one. He's grabbing the relics though, Tristan. He's snagging the relics and Hera is going in for snipes. Viper is there with the halves and Hera's gonna kill the monk yep. before it gets the relics back. But Viper, of course, he's got another monk on the way. And that one's gonna die too. <laughs> <laughs> No, it doesn't. Oh, the calf sees it, though. They're, they're both fighting over these relics. Oh, man. And Hera could click the Hussar upgrade in a second. He's still going for Cavalier. I wouldn't even mind to see Ballista Elephants at this point. You have three castles on the front. Ballista Elephants would... You don't need it, but it would absolutely work. And he might do it, actually. He's getting Siege Engineers. That's that's actually well, for his I mean, treads. Th th so. That could be for his treads. Yeah, Viper yeah. calls the GG. Hera... Taking that game, and it all came down to that one fight, right? I thought they played really well before that. I think Viper managed his map really well and very patiently. Mm -hmm. um, but then going for that castle, taking that bad fight, and then even when Hera was distracted on the right side, Viper was still in the TC. He was micering down the monks on the other side. He should have been building the castle during that. Obviously, it's easy for me to say. He's got a million things to do. And then he goes for the gate walls, and he doesn't wall behind. So Hera just runs right around the gates very smartly. And Viper is suddenly behind by, like, 15 mils yeah. after that one. And, and, you know, it's one of those things where um, it, it's w the worst possible fight for Viper. He had Lightcav, he had knights, he had monks. But then his his knights got converted, his monks died in Lightcav. And then, of course, he didn't have Pikemen there, I guess, as well. So, um it's just unfortunate timing. We don't know because we weren't seeing his point of view, but if I had to guess, he might have been adding some farms in that moment. Figured my castle's already on the way up. I'll just look back there in half a second. Uh, he might have been looking for a wood line <laughs> desperately in that moment as he ended the game with like 42 on wood to the north. Um, uh, we don't know, but we do know Hera was taking the initiative. And even though Hera could have had some problems against the pikemen, he, he again showed like, you know, if you're going to go pike or spears like Viper did, it's just it's just not going to work well against all-in yeah. scout play. Uh, the yeah. only way that pikemen are really effective against a player like Hera is if you're pushing with it as well. And maybe Viper needed to do a little bit more to do that because of Hera's very exposed main gold. I mean, Hera didn't even need to castle that in the end. It was no problem for him to just work with the other golds and, uh, you know, just pick off villagers from Viper nonstop. Anyway, here we are. Hera is playing as Saracens. Viper is playing as the Huns. And, well, it's relatively open. It's not completely open. We yeah. can see walling potential here for Hera. Uh, Viper, I think, might have a better base here than the Canadian. But... I, I think it's the same story where Hera has the better base for the start because yeah. his golds and his berries are on the back and Viper's golds and berries are on the front. But if it goes late... Hera's golds, the two neutral, or not the neutral, but the second and third gold, I guess, being forward could be an issue for Hera. Um, however, Hera has done a great job of having the better starting base and then taking map control, and then nothing else really matters because of that control. But you would expect the Huns, because of their flexibility, to be a little bit more uh, suited for taking map control here in Feudal. Viper didn't find Hera. He's, he's found the, the stone and the gold and now mm -hmm. he's scouting over on the left side and he's going to know that it's probably to the right because there's a relic there so he could have taken the goats could have maybe found the rhino but he knows approximately where his enemy is and now he's heading back even Hera's viper pushing the hunt from the middle of the map <laughs> can you imagine though how this has already been a bit rough for viper if viper went forward to lame and Hera did too both of viper's rhinos were more forward than Hera's. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like both of Hera's rhinos are on the back. Oh man, it would have just been a nightmare for Viper if Hera had taken that forward one. But Viper comes home now. I think it's the right play. You, you got to make sure that you're not losing any resources. He didn't find the zebra though, which is kind of unfortunate over there. Yeah, true. It's just out of his sight. And Hera's already pushing in his second one here. So pretty smooth Dark Age for Hera. Uh, Dark Age he'll want to be smooth because you don't have any real exciting bonuses to work with if you're Saracens right now. Uh, it's the cheaper market and better market rates. Their archers do a great job against uh, buildings, which can really help mm -hmm. Hera if he's going aggressive. But also, I think a unit you should absolutely consider is the Saracens here is your camels. You get more HP, and then you get even more HP if you research Zealotry later on. And Huns well, are almost always making Huns. a cavalry unit. Yeah. Yeah. Even against cavalry archers. Like, cavalry archers do more damage to camels than they, they would to knights. But, like, it, if you ever catch up with them... 
And Viper's not paying attention. If he plays in the Cav Archers, the Camels can be really, really effective. Yep. And the th while Cav Ar that Cav Archer mass can be really oppressive, it takes a long time to build that up. So we'll see how it plays out. I'm expecting scouts from Viper. Uh, and I'm more so curious on how Hera's going to play it. Because if you go stable as well, then you could argue you're playing towards the Hun strengths early because the Hun stable works faster. But then again, you have your stable to make camels later on. I don't know. I could Hera, see the Hera goats doing are at that. the back, my dude. The goat is at the back. You can see the goat. Oh, true. It's, <laughs> it's at the back. It's been at the back this entire time. And he pushed in two zebra and an ostrich. And now he's looking for his extra goats. But plot twist, it's at the back. Dude, he's really looking for wall potential, I think. Like double checking to make sure there's no wood line there. So now he knows if he's going to wall, he has to give up his stone and he has to wall to the edge of the map where his wood line is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe it feels like he doesn't need the goats. Clearly seems like he's forgotten for the time being. He, he doesn't notice that goat, bro. He doesn't see the goat. And now he's coming forward because he's like, I need to scout my opponent. <laughs> and double wood line for Hera. So it looks like scouts. So it seems all good for me. As far as Hera's concerned, Viper's going to stick with mm -hmm. one wood line for now. And he's going to push in his the final hunt. So the ostrich is coming in right here for Viper. He's got enough time to get that in before Feudal Age. He already knows where his opponent is. So comfortable start for him, too, as he goes to that back wood line, which is uh, a nice wood line to be on in the Feudal Age here. Viper will have 10 on wood, which is fairly standard. Going to wood a little bit later, but doesn't have to spend the wood on the houses. So I think the timings will be okay. The barracks should be coming up soon. The stable might be slightly delayed. Man, they haven't even scouted each other yet. Like, <laughs> these Viper guys... See, knows where Hera is. Viper knows where Hera is. Does he know? Is. Does yeah. he? Yeah, I've already said it twice, dude. Well, he hasn't seen it. He saw the stone it. and he saw the gold, and then he went over and saw the relic on the left side. Yeah. So he knows exactly where Hera is. I guess what I'm trying to lean towards here is... They, they don't really don't hit. they really don't think that anyone's drushing here, right? Mm -hmm. Because if this is two years ago, we're like, oh my god, he hasn't seen he's making militia, or if he's making militia. These guys just don't think that's a possibility today. He got the goats. He got the goats, and Viper is just kind of chilling with his scout. Why is he not moving this? Okay. Moving around. Viper drops a stable. And Hera was up faster, but Hera doesn't actually have the stable up yet. He's just going to wall and play spear defense right now, it looks like. Unless he's going to delay the stable. Yeah, I think you need to have some level of offense here. You're Hera, and we've seen what has happened thus far if you have aggression. Okay, Viper will spot the wood line. Spots the mill. Sees the second wood line. Knows it's going to be archers, right? It's stable. No, it's he stable. Because he saw the gold before, yeah. Yeah. The hair was just a little late Saracens with it. are opening... Uh, Hoping something other than archers, though. But it makes sense. I think an underrated move in a more closed map with Saracens is to go scouts. And then you just use the market to get up faster to Castle Age to go camels, honestly. Mm. Everyone loves to use the market to go archers. But is Harris going to drop the market now? Uh, you just use... that. That's your only eco bonus at this point, right? So try and use it as quickly as possible. It's going to have a big wall. He's got a big, big wall here yep. to that other wood line. And then the main gold is secured. You've got a wood line fully secured, and that's it. <laughs> There's not really much else, even if you get this wall down. And he's walling a lot here. I mean, he mm -hmm. worked in the game number two. You don't want to take any risks here and, and possibly give Viper some momentum to come back here in the finals. He was using his scouts defensively. And he's had defensive spearmen as well. Viper, though, if he just gets through here, he could be a thorn in Hera's side all Feudal Age. Just run right past. He'll take the spearmen. This is more like it from the Viper. And whoa. A little surprised he didn't go back for more. But he sees Hera's clearly trying to wall this up. Spear is going for a ride near the TC from Hera. Oh, man. And Viper, Viper, yeah, noticing that wall there, that's going to give him a lot of information that Hera's already starting to wall there. Interesting. Viper. And Hera will wall that in. Cool. Felt like that's an easy kill for the Viper. Mm -hmm. But he, he wants the scout HP more than anything. So he opted to turn around against Hera's scouts. And figures he can come back for that villager. Hera will soon be on four scouts. Just like the Viper. Viper's not making any more. Hera again has more work to do. 
pulls the villager to the side, has the spearman, and Viper's gonna leave. Which I think Hera's gonna love in this instance, right? He didn't want Viper to be able to do any damage to him. He's played fairly greedy with his style, and, and Viper's just gonna fall back, and we, we saw this before. Now Viper's gonna have to wall up, it seems, because Hera could counterattack. I mean, Viper Zico behind this looking pretty good. He still doesn't have horse color. Seven farms for him. Hera's got ten farms now, but mm -hmm. Hera spent a lot of time walling yeah, here, and Viper he has been working with his vills as Viper now adds in an archer to potentially help him when he comes forward here. Hera now going out to the gold, and Hera should be up to the next stage faster. He's already sold that stone. Yeah, Viper will know that potential is there. But even though Hera has the walls, Viper could break through those walls if he has archers with his spearmen. The concern for me is, you know, is he going to overchop one of his wood lines? Because Hera is headed over. You've got the berry villagers exposed. You've got the gold villagers exposed. It is Viper. You'd expect walls. Um, like quick walls. Hera can just market wall behind this. Yeah, this true. Pressure. True. Yep. yep. He could market wall the entire thing because everything's so cheap for him. Spearman from home for Viper. He's got other two Spearmen engaging against Hera's Spearman and currently winning the fight slightly on the hill. And there's just another market for Hera. As you said, Dave, kind of expected. And if for me, uh, I'll repeat myself here, but I really would have liked to have seen Viper stay in Hera's base with the scouts. And just well, be I active mean, there. Or kill the first villager at least, right? He's forcing something at least. And he's not going to be that far behind to the Castle Age. Yeah. He did get Fletching, which will cost him a little bit of time. But he's getting the farms down. And he's forcing Hera to respond to this. Hera couldn't get any damage with his scouts. Now taking a little bit of damage to that archer. And has constantly villagers over here, building markets, deleting markets, mm -hmm. making houses behind the walls. He doesn't want this pressure to come in as he's now clicked up to Castle Age. And he's adding archer ranges of his own. So Hera in game number two, he had a lot of army control headed up towards Castleage. Here he's kind of, he's delayed army production for Castleage. And he's going to go archers. And those archers could just pick off Viper's archers in time, but Viper's aggression? Really making Hera work like you said, Dave. I think Hera's just going to make another market in a second, but he actually can't delete the other market he's because there's nothing the there. <laughs> gonna show the fact that he has a range with this archer and he decides not to yeah it's it's, it's really interesting <laughs> imagine if you're new here today you're just yeah. like what is happening like, what right is now going on? why are there so many markets yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's absolutely look, the right play it's cheesy but it's it's just saracens in 2023 man yeah castle age is on the way for viper he's going to be a minute and a bit behind hera here come the scouts from Hera. Viper's got to be careful about that. And Hera's going to try and block that villager Viper. Garrison the TC now, and you should be able to save him. Yes, indeed. Yep, saves the Vil. Viper still has Spearman around, so he ends up getting away with one there because he could have easily lost the Vil. And the second range for me tells me Viper wants Cav Archers. And he sees Hera's going to go Archers, so it's most likely Crossbowman for Hera. Let's see if Hera goes oh, for Ballistics. I just missed that. I guess on the wood line, there was a click wall yeah, there. Yeah, there nice. was an overchop. I like the fact that Viper's walling here, but these are palisade walls against Saracen Saracen's. crossbow. Yep. It still gives you still. a little bit of heads up, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think mm -hmm. you either and wall or you make outposts, and outposts do he's cost finding stone, these so. archers. He's finding these archers as they come out. He gets one archer, and he delays him, which is so important. When you're behind a castle age, he's buying himself time with this feudal army. He... F Sees that Hera now has Bodkin, and he's going to have Crossbow soon, so he'll back away from this. Last but thing Viper wants here, Viper. the last thing Viper wants to have to do here is drop a tower. Things mm -hmm. feel really open and free once you get a couple town centers down with Hans, and you're normally dominating with army control. So as he tracks the Crossbowman, he's going to go for that upgrade himself. He has eight, though there's three on the front for him, so Hera will still have more at his base. Viper's not really going to have the army to deal with this. I guess the scouts could be helpful, though. Does but he want to place a TC on that on that gold? Not entirely sure. He pulls away now. Hera doesn't have the numbers to one-shot Vils, and Viper knew it there, so he now leaves the wood line. 
Viper will recover with crossbow numbers. His three crossbows, I really like this, are sitting where Hera's new units would go. Yep. But Hera will have more units than him there, so that could be good for Hera. And So far, so good for Hera, right? He got the walls down. He's got Viper under pressure again. And for Viper, still not really seeing a crazy army mass to get excited about. Viper Zico has been a little bit better than Hera's this game. He snipes a crossbow. That's a nice job from him. Knights and scouts coming in, which could be annoying. And reinforcements Ooh. from Viper. Oh, man, that's rough. That was really they creative from Hera as well, actually. He didn't actually use his crossbowman against the, the two free archers there. He just used his scouts. So oh, good cleanup for Viper. Those guys kind of distracted the army from Hera. And now Hera's at the back with only four crossbows. Viper still has his scouts patrolling the middle, waiting for the reinforcements to come. Mm -hmm. And he's got a knight now chasing this down, and he's getting wheelbarrow. Only nine seconds of vital TC time for him. It's a minute and 27 from Hera. Very clean Viper for Viper. Viper is better. And, yeah, and this better. is where... He's got seven bills in the queue, too. This is where you, you take a deep breath, and you're like, I didn't drop a tower. I don't mm -hmm. have to place houses. I can finally move out, and maybe this is the type of game that I need to come back in this series. The, the town center is not the choice for Viper. He's actually going to opt for the university to go for ballistics. And Hera is not doing that currently. Hera is actually dropping the second town center. Well, he got the university. He's waiting for the rest. Oh, for true, ballistics. true, true. He's okay. getting it right now. Yeah, good point. Yeah. I didn't see that for some reason. Light cap from Viper. He was thinking about it, and then he canceled it. It's probably a good decision. So Hera will probably have the, the villager lead. He has a similar thumb army ring. count to Viper as Viper goes thumb ring now. He doesn't go ballistics. He goes thumb ring. He's like, I can dodge ballistics. Hera can dodge ballistics. Insert and why not both meme. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get ballistics as well. So let's go. Thumb ring is going to be a surprise though. Thumb ring is big. Yep. However, ballistics will come in faster for Hera. So if he can get some decent trades here yeah. and, and make that... Uh, get some value here i think advantage to him is viper still no second tc but i mean i would expect viper to dominate the middle right now viper saw Hera as ballistics and he's trying to get some good angles nice snipes there without ballistics yep. yet from viper he's got the thumb ring though and it, will Hera realize it do you realize that you, in fights? you know i think he actually Hera misju misjudged his volley or his dodge rather because he didn't expect viper's volleys to be coming in so quick he knows now for sure. And you can't go for Thumbring here to, to match it because your food eco is pretty bad. So you just got to go Siege if you're Hera. Great job from Viper. And now he goes for the second TC. Added in. Yep. I would love to see that Knight from Viper loop around to maybe the left side and try and punch a hole in the wall for your Cav Archers to come in mm -hmm. while yep. Hera is distracted by your crossbows. Just hit him in multiple positions and um, try and distract him, right? So you can find yourself a good fight. The food eco for Viper... <laughs> The farming economy for this guy, Tristan. It's not there. Space. It's not good. <laughs> but he's trying to improve it. I mean, the balance is is kind of optimal for lots of archers because mm -hmm. had he reseeded more farms, he wouldn't have had the archers and the ballistics and the thumb ring. But now he's going to have to catch up while he's microing. That's where it gets tricky. But I mean, yep. way more difficult for Hera right now because Hera is fighting against thumb ring and ballistics. He does have elite skirm though. And so far, the micro has this been micro, decent bro. enough for Hera as Viper just says, oh, you know what, I'm just going to get some Vil picks here. Gets a couple of them. And in the end... You no, know, Hera doesn't know whether to move the Vils or move or the, the crossbows. Or the crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> True. Look at this defense from Hera, though. Oh, my God. He's incredible, isn't he? He's incredible. And the crossbows get pushed away. Viper did find some value there. Amazing micro from both. It's crazy the way they can... Uh... The extent to which they can take this game mm -hmm. and the mechanics of this game. And so Viper says, okay, well, crossbow window's over. Let's go Cav Archers now. But remember, Hera has Ballistics and he has Elite Skirm now. So the Cav Archers can use their mobility, but they're still going to be losing those battles. Viper would maybe want to consider making Knights. But he realizes Eco Balance is a problem for him, Dave, as he drops a Market. Don't hate it. There's no mm -hmm. Alarm Bells for Viper's Eco. The upgrades are good. Viper wants to make sure he controls those golds long term. Remember, the two golds for Hera are a big concern. His starting base, he was able to wall up quite nicely, but golds and stones, all of it, needs to be protected here in Castle Age. These cav archers already have thumbring. So these are like, it's basically like having Tatars here. 
when he starts building the cow archers. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really, really dangerous if he manages to get in. And he's picking away at the walls on the left side, but he did lose a big army in the center as Viper now gets the um, armor mm -hmm. for his knights. I think this might be a situation where Viper might want to idle his TCs for knights. Because the, the army composition for Hera is really tricky. It's elite skirm and crossbow, and it's also siege. So adding more archers, or even elite skirms in this case, means you will still have issues. I think knights is maybe what he needs to change it as he gets in with the cav archers, but Hera's waiting for him, Dave. And Hera's going to yep. rewall this. And if he can get that wall piece down, Hera... Oh, he doesn't get it. Thankfully for Viper, he's able to escape because he's pressured at home right now. We need knights from Viper. Where's the army? Where's the army from Viper? I think you're right. He's got to idle his TCs here and mm -hmm. just make knights. Or siege. You either go for your own siege workshop or you go for the knights because there's skirms in there. But he tried to go for his own elite skirm, which could be decent. But we'll see. Viper finds a nice pickoff, though. In the middle. Oh, good Mangano snipe. Yep. Great job there with the Cav Archers. And he's also maybe going to pick off some reinforcements. Hera notices that. So now Hera has to stall out his push because he doesn't have that second Mangano. He sees the stables. And Viper has stabilized at the back here with some um, nice picks with the Cav Archers forward and mm -hmm. some nice distractions there. Hera is now adding in Camels because he saw the Knights earlier. Camels will die to the Cav Archers in low numbers. Feel like... That's why you have the Skirms. Yep, and he he understands what he's vulnerable against here, and he's vulnerable against the knights. Viper now goes in with two knights, but yeah, you, need, you gotta need more mistake. than that. You can't yeah. fight against the main army right now with that. Oh my goodness. It's just so clean and crisp and consistent from Hera, and Viper's just had some... It's been rough around the edges today, right? And and I, I'm i waiting for him to turn it around here, Dave, but he's gonna be making skirms. He's only got four cav archers, and he's got one knight. Hera has the better late game sieve, right? If Hera gets to, like, full zealotry heavy camels, Huns, even though they have Helb, doesn't really feel like they have a lot that can stop that. Four TCs for the Viper, though. On the, on the left, Viper is expecting a force to come around that way. He's not going to find it. Also has Cav Archers on the right side. Could send them in maybe to the stone of Hera, as Hera is thinking about going up to Imp. Mm -hmm. And he's thinking about a castle as well. Skirmishers are dying at the front side here, though, and the knight is helping with that. But here come the archers from Hera. And the yep. military numbers from Viper are still very low. Yep, very low and lots of res to spend right now, right? 500 gold, 300 wood. It feels like he's he's taken a decent trade there to kill some of the skirms from Hera. But Hera's balanced. He's got a plan behind this, despite not having the amount of villagers. And he is going to come forward for that castle. And he will click up to Imp. So, Viper, you've now got three minutes to take a really good engagement against Hera. Because this is going to get so much worse for you in the Imperial Age. It's going to get very, very messy. The Cav Archers are now heading in towards that stone from Hera. So, maybe Hera will be distracted mm -hmm. at some point, And Viper can take advantage of that. He's going to see the castle now. Camels are there, though. Mangonels are there. Yep. Crossbows are behind. And Viper, he can't do anything about that. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's, it's just not the area Viper can contest right now, so he needs to look for damage elsewhere. Again, Viper with a big vil count. He's getting plus two armor now. He's going for light cav instead of knights, which is interesting, but you may be banking the gold for cav archer switch later on. And Hera, he's going to have some excellent micro here to kill the light cav and the knights, and Viper's skirms do have to leave this area because the mangonels will find the kills. Good kills from Viper, though. He does kill a few crossbowmen. Hera only has 15 right now. But what do you do when, when Trebs start to take out your town centers if you're Viper? You're nowhere close to Imp right now. And your army count is still behind Hera's. Yeah, and your farm eco is going to be completely idled. And that'll put you even further back from yep. Imp. I guess it's just going to be all in Castle Age from Viper. He's going for a castle. He's got gold. But the food count isn't there yet. Still, he has 42 on food. So if he idles for a little bit, he might be up. But from what TC even? Mm -hmm. exactly. Like Hera's going to be in a position to just kill everything. Especially with Saracen archers, they can act as siege as well. Cav archers finally coming in from Viper. He hasn't used these in so long. Yep, he's been so distracted. Has the population lead. The mechanics of it all, creating villagers, creating army. All that stuff's been really solid, but the balance has been so difficult for Viper to find today. And the balance is, is probably what Hera is able to do best amongst everything else. Yep. Viper it, has been really good at making vils. Yep. 
Yep. Like, that's that's it. He's got 122 bills. He's 30 bills ahead, but he's definitely behind. And now, the Viper's got to hope for some wackiness. We've seen some crazy Viper comebacks over the years. Uh, he's never really needed one more than he needs one right now. Hera's opting for a tower in his base. This is how much Hera wants to push. He's dropping a tower for four Cav Archers because he well, refuses to come are home. Annoying. They are annoying. And if Viper gets back here with some more uh, military, like he's got plus two armor on his cavalry, right? Yep. Like if he go gets back there with some light cav or whatever, it could be really ugly. Viper's going for another castle over there. And Hera, I mean, he's at 93 vils, but it doesn't feel like it right now. It yeah. feels like he's kind of strained for Rez. And Hera does have the better armies now, but he has Hera to be careful the with the skirms and Viper's imping. And he's imping in a TC bills. that will make it. Like, he, he's not going to lose that TC as he chose the safest one. Cav Archers coming in from the left side. Hera re-walled over there, which is really great. But uh, there think, is a hole in the wood line he could run through. I think you need outposts or defensive castles right now if you're Hera. You need one or the other, right? He's going to place a castle towards the middle. I actually would prefer his next castle be even deeper in Viper's base. Just keep the pressure on Maybe. Viper. Oh, this could be a problem for Hera, Tristan. Plus two armor, light cab coming in. Nice attack rounds with the mangonels. Are they so going to snipe this Treb? Why are you going after this mangonel when the Treb's right there, Viper? Well, he's got the skirms out there, maybe hoping for value, maybe looking at the cav archers on the left side, maybe adding farms, Dave. He's kind of doing all of it. He's got a nice little ball near his imp TC, Viper. And thankfully he chose the tc he did because he might not have any of the other tcs alive <laughs> when by the time he makes it to him oh nice micro against the mangonel there yeah, of that was very good he's gonna come and take out this treb with skirms villager is repairing villager is no longer repairing if viper and... can if viper can figure this out dave if he can win this game thus starts the comeback right like i yeah, think the momentum would crazy. shift massively and look at the cab archer number behind right the knights are coming in viper is doing all the viper things he's snagging a relic from behind beside Hera's base yep he's got the cab archers over here but Hera is in such a good position map control wise he's still got these crossbows he's still got the trebs attacking he's still got good eco balance it's just he mm -hmm. it, he actually hasn't been making a lot of army before it was it's funny it's kind of shifted viper was great with vils and then Hera was great with the army in control. And then Viper's like, okay, my turn for army now. And Hera kind of slows down. And, and we will see lots of Cav Archer upgrades for the Viper. Just now he's finally going to start losing castles. So he needs to find an answer to these Trebs. Hera's setting up. He's done a good job keeping those crossbows safe. But I don't know for how long. Like he, you're saying, he, he's not producing army. Yeah. And because of it, he's going to lose this Treb. He might lose the other one. No, he saves it. And Viper's going to have to try and save this castle against four trebuchets from Hera. Great job from Hera to, to save this one. A little sloppy not to repair the other one, but he's he's trying to expand that economy like we said. Army comp... Viper is everywhere on the map right now. And, and the other thing to remind people of, the army comp is extremely expensive for Saracens. They do not have discounts. Mm -hmm. So if you're going heavy camel and zealotry and all those things, it's strong, mm -hmm. but it takes some time. And Hera... Still ex super exposed at home. One random Tarkin from Viper in Hera's Woodline. Viper's starting to feel the comebacks possible with some of these tiny little things. And he's got the neutral golds, neutral stones on the sides, right? Yep. He's picking up the relics. It's just like the later the Huns play into the game, if the Saracens get to tech into their stuff, it's going to be difficult. But it's also going to be difficult for the Saracens if it, it's a wide open game. If Hera has to stretch out for Woodlines, the Huns should have the advantage there in terms of raiding potential. Yep. Also, Hun trebuchets, more accurate. So Viper's one treb against three. Watch this bad boy. Bam! <laughs> Hun bonuses coming into play. And as a Hun fanboy, I'm liking it. And he takes another treb on the right-hand side here, Viper. That one treb still going to town. And Get it's going to take out all of Hera's oh! trebs. Hera, Get you got to bail, bro. You got to bail. Get it's him. Hun trebs. Viper has no wood to repair. He took he, he all the traps all except the for traps, one. Dude. Yeah. And Harris still hasn't found Viper's areas around the map. On the sides. Like the yep. stuff on the left, the yep. stuff on the right. Hasn't been exploring because he's full focus in the center. Heavy cab archer coming in for Viper. He's only going to have 15. But look at the... Dude, Viper moment. Look at the gold banked. <laughs> 2k gold, even though it's he's lost like three of his TCs. You're under so much pressure. Yeah. And he's buying wood now with that gold. That's 
kind of good for Hera because he can sell the wood at a really decent price. There was a feeling in the first and the second game, and it was even pretty early on, where I was just like, we've seen this before from Hera. He won't lose this type mm -hmm. of game. We've, we've seen this, seen before, this before from Viper. From Viper Many times. And I'm really starting to, to worry for Hera right now. Even though Hera's you know, got the score lead and maybe we'll have the tech mm -hmm. advantage, we'll see. Because Skirm Camel is still really difficult for the Hunts to deal with. And Viper will lose a trap, so Hera's castles in the middle will stand for a very long time. Yep. Viper still has the skirms over there, so he can bring them forward to deal with the crossbows, and then he's getting the Halb upgrade to deal mm -hmm. with the camels. Just needs to make sure his skirms are near his Halbs, and his Halbs are near his skirms. Something As I'm he goes for a castle over on the left to protect that area. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it before I said it. I was just going to say that something I'm concerned with with Viper is he's very open and exposed to raids, and you mm -hmm. wouldn't normally think that camel raids would be effective they would have absolutely been effective on that left side and even on the right side right he doesn't have much he's got what one castle a a at home if you could i don't even know what his home is at this point but crossbows are dying here against the cav archers harris got to get zealotry have stayed alive for a very long time they had tons of kills on them the um trebs are coming forward from hera now but there's halbs from viper and there's not that many skirms here to protect with the cav archers also there if Hera can take out this castle, it's going to be very, very nice for him. Viper has a ton of stone to repair. He hasn't started yet. He's full focus on the camels. He needs to start repairing that castle, which he's doing right now. And he's got another Wonder Treb from the Huns engaging in the Treb War and hitting almost every shot. Yeah, it's, it, it's the Forgotten Huns bonus. And Hera is expecting to push here. This is how he wins the game. He's not thinking about the side. So if Viper can hold this and hold control over those side areas. Maybe he can do it, but we've got Zealotry Camels, 170 HP. And yeah. then we also have Skirms from Hera, so his army composition is better. And they're both at 200 pop. And Hera will not stop pushing up the middle right now. Camels are so strong, dude. 170 HP, the Halbs have gone down. The castle is still being repaired. The Trebs aren't hitting enough shots. They're not being Hera repaired. This is another one. They're not being repaired, I mean, Hera might look back at the trebuchets going down as the defining moment if he ends up losing this as the camels are eating. We got to get inside this castle. We really do. He's he's waiting for his castle to do damage. He's now walling off his trebs on the other side, micering his cav archers back. Another treb goes down. The castle is almost full HP. The camels are dying, but Hera is being <laughs> raided by Tarkins over on the left side, and now he's going for a castle over there. This is a wild game. This is an awesome game. This is what we wanted to see in all King of the Desert, a game like this between two of the very best. Now, Viper's got, like, no Cav Archers anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And his base is still split through the middle. Hera's just going to give up on the castle on the right-hand side and say forget about that. But you got to oh, love how traps. Viper is That's under her. pressure and takes yeah. losses, but then raids at the exact same time. So difficult yep. to do that. Dude, how many trebs has Hera lost this game? Ten? Give up on it, Hera. He doesn't even he doesn't even need the castles for his units. Just <laughs> just go for rams if you go for siege. Do not go and for trebs at, anymore. Bro, look at the gold from Hera. He's my got man no has gold. nothing to sell. He's got no access to gold. Oh my god. Viper raided on that gold. Hera's now going for a castle over there, so Viper will be pushed pushed off the neutral. But Viper has 42 on gold right now. With two relics, and he's got 1,700 in the bank as Hera is selling everything so Viper, for gold. So Viper can get Cav Archers again, right? He could get that mass back up. And Hera, he doesn't have the better light Cav Civilization. It's just the Camels mm -hmm. and I guess the Arbalest, all of which cost gold, that would really make the difference. Did he really go through all of his gold? That's crazy to me. I guess he could sell he some at food. Some point. At some point he did. Viper going for another Monastery right beside the Relic. As yep. He takes out the light cav raids on the other side. Now, Viper is really struggling for food because he got pushed off of all those farms. The yep. camels are still on the farms, right? He needs to get that farming go back up and running. He has gold in the bank and he's getting his cav archer mass again, but Hera has a decent amount of skirms and he's pushing again with the trebs. A crazy, crazy game here. A lot of Viper's eco is kind of a little bit idled right now mm -hmm. too. I like how Hera is still continually trying to raid Viper, just like Viper did to him, mm. sending in some light cav, even bringing in the skirms. And Hera's at 200 population. Hera's got trebuchets on the field again. He's going to kill a Viper trebuchet on the left. And if he takes that castle out, Hera can get the stone and can get the gold there. There's a lot of blue he's... dots in Viper's eco right now. 
He's going for another castle on the right, too. Oh, man, the market is man. helping out Harris so much. He's selling that wood for outrageous prices. What a game. But I think it's safe to say Viper needs this one to have any chance in the final, right? Yeah. He, he, we've seen him come back from sets down before, but Hera and Viper are clearly number one, number two right now. This series maybe decides, at least on Arabia, who is number one and number two in the scene, and the level is Look simply at how much too he's close. He's selling the wood for, bro. He's getting thumb ring. Arbalist now. Hassar is in for Hera. 45 on food now for Viper, so he stabilized that area, but he hasn't gone for a raid in a mm -mm. very long time. And now the castle over on the left is, is down. And Viper's, uh, Viper's Viper's up to 200 pop again. The thing is, Viper's been able to survive, but he's never had a push. He's never had Trebs pushing a castle. Remember, Hera's castle's in the middle, still standing, which he's falling back to now, and those castles have plenty of kills, about 45 kills collectively. And if there's ever a moment where Hera can breathe, and I think we're even at that point, Hera's going to raid Viper's eco on all sides. The right side will be raided by Hussars. The left side's kind of gone for Viper already. And in the south, he doesn't have any castles. Like, he's got camels to deal with here. This is awful for Viper. His cab archers are doing good work, though. On the left side, they're clearing up military. Um, he does have three relics behind this. And now Viper is taking the Hussar. He's only at 104 vils. So he got hit really, really hard. And you can see the eco KD mm -hmm. right now. 86 to 29 yeah. in favor of Hera as he starts adding more and more farms. Did not have heavy plow until a minute ago. Oh, though, so yeah, that can hurt. That was an issue. Very little gold for both players now. Hera is going to try yet again. Forward. The push begins. The push <laughs> begins for Viper. And Trebs for... Oh, these Trebs for Viper. I see. I thought when you said for Viper, I didn't realize. Yeah, so Viper will try and push middle. Will likely get that castle. And Hera's best way of dealing with these cav archers is forcing Viper to chase Where? him now. Send a big Where army. Did these trebs come from from Viper? Was he saving them in the back of this base? I think those are the two trebs that killed the trebs earlier from Hera on the right and side. And he just looped them around. And he looped yeah, them maybe. around, yeah. Trebs on the right, though, taking out the TC, and now Viper is completely exposed over there. So Hera's doing a fantastic job to raid everything. <laughs> Look at Viper. The that monk are killing, though. Sorry, that monk tr was initially going to the monastery he came from, and he said, nope, mm -hmm. I'm going to the south. Because Viper is not confident he can hold that area. And now Hera's like, how do you like it? And he just yeah. has so many Treb numbers that he's able to take out Viper's Treb. So he can keep his castle up. Viper is still maximum population, but his eco is going to struggle to keep up with this production. Yeah. He's got a lot of Hussar. This is the you wave. Know? If Hera kills this wave, I think he wins this game. But he obviously, he could take some really bad fights against it if he's not careful. And Viper's stubborn with this Treb. He really needs another one. Now. He's off of gold, Viper. He's got nothing on gold. And he's running out. And the stone is not there. He needs another castle to just defend himself, right? Mm -hmm. This one's eventually going to go down as Hera's going to push it from that hill. And Hera... 90 can... military. <laughs> Hera can just use his skirms to pick off Cav Archer every now and then. And protect those trebs with everything he's got with the Hussars. He's not even engaging with the Hussars, actually. He doesn't want to, to lose a buffer of some kind this there. This one Treb from Viper. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's, it's the only thing that Hera is focusing on right yeah. now is this one Treb. As Hera takes a fight in front of his Trebs, and Viper's up on the hill. And look at the military numbers here for Viper. Hera's military is falling. And the one Treb's still there, Dave. And the Trebs are going down. And trebs Viper's going to take out all five from Hera. It's actually happening, and on the right side, Harris trebbing down a Viper castle, but maybe Viper could snipe that trap. He's not even paying attention to that. Oh, the one trap from no Viper. Castle. Oh my goodness, dude. Is Hera going to lose this position? He's probably like, man, I've killed so many Vils. He's killed 102 villagers from Viper in this game. How do I kill this guy? How do I kill this army? Well, Viper needs more Vils. He is one TC. Zero castles. Yep. <laughs> he needs more TCs. He He's... needs more Vils. Hera's just raiding him to death. Oh, Viper God. Viper is taking good fights here. Dude, we are going to see so many villagers die for both. Hera's going to yeah. go raid Viper's Eco in the south. And Hera's going to go raid Viper's Eco in the west. And Hera's raiding Viper's Eco on the right a little bit. While uh -huh. still there's like the main army for Viper and here Hera the next to the castles. <laughs> there's nothing in the back Hera's base. There's a trap. There's just a castle. 
I don't know where that Treb came from. I mean, Viper did actually have Halbs there, which is very well played. And now Hera's going to add Camels. Also very well played from him. And the Trebs are still firing, dude. Like, the, the, Hera must be so tilted due to these trebuchets right now. He's not actually tilted. He's feeling good, I'm sure. But without the Hun bonus, who knows how this game would have gone. And Hera's going to take it. Finally takes that out. There's another one. There is another. That's true. And it'll just take the place of the first one. The Hussars are in the back, so Hera's going to be distracted with that. He has to send some Hussars back to deal with it. Population stagnating a little bit from both players. Viper really needs villager numbers, and he's got two TCs now. But Hera is using that Saracen market he is. to a crazy extent. Viper really needs Blast Furnace right now. His Hussars are missing plus two attack. His Halbs are missing that plus two attack. This is a ridiculous game. Hera has four castles set up. Viper has zero. Normally, you prefer God. the player with the castles. Yeah, those relics, though, have gotten so much value for Viper. Yeah, agreed. Hera's trying to take out the monastery on the left, and Viper noticed that. So Viper's been really attentive to his relics as well, at least the ones that are exposed. Holy Viper cow, can't make dude. another trap if this one goes down. And is Hera just going to YOLO it with the skirms? <laughs> like, just screw you, dude! <laughs> it's insane. By the way... Make a Bombard Cannon! <laughs> The, these, know, castles, these castles have a fifth of the kills for Hera. These two castles in the middle. They have been so important. Oh my goodness. Alright. Again, Viper has the potential to take out the trebuchets again from Hera. If Hera's not careful, the micro has been stellar from stone, both. But Viper's population is dropping. He can't keep up the production. Hera is still at max pop right now. And the cab archer number is dwindling. Can't, can't keep up with this. They can't keep up with this. He can't lose this Treb. He cannot lose this Treb. The Hussars are trying to kill it. Viper is down to 140 population, but he's coming in with more Hussars. The castle is almost dead from Hera, and he's going to have to buy some more stone. He's selling everything to buy stone to keep that alive. This is Hera's game, Dave. He's officially held, right? The, the trebuchet, it's not going to be enough. Even if he takes the one castle, Hera's still got the other one. And Hera has 80 on food right now. He's got Hussars like in the back of his base. If he finds those Castle's and sends them into die. Viper's eco, could be a problem. But Viper's Castle's pop is die. so bad. The eco raids have finally caught up with him. He just does not have the economy to keep this up. The Treb is packing up and it's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's leaving. But the Hussar are here. Can he save the Treb? This is his... One hope. Oh, it dies. Oh, Viper's geez. Viper's going to back up 135 population. At least he took out one castle. He still has the relics. But and he, his eco is only at 95 villagers still and only two TCs. One TC. Sorry, no, two. Yeah, and, and if it's not already viewed as bad in Viper's mind, the Hussars on the right will be a problem. Hera now it can breathe and send Hussars to the left and maybe deal with the Monastery. And we Damn. have a 3-0 final here. And this was the first really competitive game. The theme for me again, though, Hera takes such good control in Castle Age. And for the Viper, while he, it was an amazing comeback, and we took it past an hour, and it was a pleasure of a game to watch, he just didn't really have it all together in the Castle Age. I remember when he started to add Skirms, Dave, we questioned it a little bit. Is this the right move? Then he was kind of on, like, five TCs all in Castle Age against a bit of an imp push and had to bring himself back to it, but... Hera planned to wall up again, got his walls down, played secure, and the, the dude's a late, uh, a late game beast as well, right? Yep. He got the job done eventually. Yeah, and he used the hell out of that market. You look he at the really gold did. collected. Yep. I'm pretty sure Viper collected more gold naturally, and he had the relic gold as well, but it's still ahead for Hera. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a uh, that was a fantastic play in the mid game, and Viper definitely. Like he kept his TCs running, but he didn't have the night numbers. Took him so long to get plus two, and he wasn't able to push any of that back. And then we just saw what happened once Sarah got those castles up. Like he lost the center of his base and castle, right? Mm -hmm. And remember, he had thumb ring, and then he had ballistics, and he had initiative. And Hera showed elite skirm, but there was no real commitment towards knights for Viper. He tried to go for his own elite skirm when Viper had, uh, when Hera had siege out, and. Listen, you know, even for the Viper, it can happen from time to time where you can't have this crisp timing and decision-making all the time. We saw how great Viper is at stabilizing and adapting in this game. But the timings on the decisions and the positions seem to be much better for Hera here. And while Hera still needs to win two more games, 
The other big positive for Hera is he has not played his first two civilizations. Same for Viper, but both players have Malians and Chinese on the draft. They consider them their best two civs. Hera did not need to use those civs to get these three wins. Mm -hmm. But we are here game number four. The score is 3-0 for Hera. And right away, I could tell you Viper got the map that he would have wanted here to try and bounce back in this series. The wood lines look solid. The yep. golds, the berries look solid. And for Wall Hera... Potential. Yeah. Like, Hera has a good map if he gets the walls down, but it's very similar to some of the maps Viper's had where Hera's going to have to work harder to wall up his base. Dude, that little wood line on the top left of the map is insulting. It's oh. just eight trees in a row for Hera. It's just insulting. I was going to say the which left one? Of his secondary gold. Oh, yep, yep, yep. It's just yep. a line. It's not even. <laughs> it, I don't I don't know why I hard fixed on that. But yeah, that, I don't that, know either. Yeah. Interesting. It's if, just unfortunate. You know, if you select it and now I'm talking about it, capture aid shows 8 and then 1. Yeah, it sorts what is the that trees, that's, I think. No, that's tree dead. Yeah, it's like any any unit. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you, Capture for sorting out that tree line for us, because that's definitely added value to the commentary we brought so far. Yep. So Malians have discounts on the on the wood buildings, which is a lot in Age of Empires 2. You have the houses, lumber camps, mills, what what have you. That adds up over time. They also get a bit of a gold boost with, with the way they mine gold. And they have a great tech tree. So if you want to go archers, boom, got it. Uh only drops off later in the game. Knights, got it. Camels, got it. Franks have options, but you really never want to be going range units with Franks. It's normally just the stable units. Uh, so it's very similar to Khmer almost, how Hera played it earlier, where I'd expect him to play into a lot of scouts. But the difference is, I think Viper's going to be able to play more secure here. And Viper will probably, assuming an awful lot, be the one who is more aggressive in early castle. Well, Hera's coming forward right now. I don't know if he's looking. Oh, okay, he's looking for his hunt, and he's going to go. find it. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he's going to push that in. So I thought for... he was going to come forward, try and steal a few goats or find Viper quick, but nope. <laughs> and Viper is pushing in the zebra too. Dave, you might appreciate this. Someone just said that wood line looks like my hairline. <laughs> can, Relatable. You, can you relate to that? Yeah. Really, there would have to be another wood line with a gap in between. Very mm. similar to that. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep an eye out on the wood lines to see if maybe you... There's one that strikes resemblance for you. Mm. But, you know, there was a meta two or three years ago, I forget which event, where you saw a lot of free pick situations. So it was Franks and Chinese and Aztecs. And uh, we saw a lot of crossbow from the Franks in early castle because you'd be up against camel civilizations a lot. And he didn't just want to go knights. So I think these days players would maybe opt to go more for like knights and monks or knights and pikes because I guess pikemen is cheaper. But just something to think about. I think Eric will want to just go stable units, but I don't know if you can conveniently do that against the Malians. Yeah. I mean, the problem with camels against Franks, I think it all started when Indians were added to the game. Mm -hmm. People thought that would be a great Civ matchup, but then the Franks started actually winning a considerable amount of the time. Yeah. Just because the... The monks were added in so quick, right? They knew the camels were coming. Mm -hmm. And if you know the camels are coming, you can make your way into some counter units behind your knights, and it only takes two or three monks to push an army of ten camels away. I wonder if Viper will have to add one more vill here, because I saw it twice from Hera in his previous series, and twice from Yo, and maybe once from Viper, where these guys try and go 18 pop, and then they realize, oh shoot, I need one more vill. Yep. It's really interesting. This there has happened go. a lot. And it's not bad. It's not like, oh, big mistake. At the end of the day, they just want to get the proper timings. But again, it's happened to all of them. They're really trying to go up quickly here. And sometimes they just realize they can't afford it. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. You want to get Loom as the last thing before you go up to Feudal Age. So all your villagers are working as long yeah. as possible. But it's not... Before the last villager is not terrible. He is up at a little bit of a timing disadvantage, though. But at least he didn't idle his TC to get there. Yep, should have I'm the food. Completely distracted by this vulture right now that is near Viper Scout. Uh, they both might encounter the vulture. I don't know what... Oh, yeah, it's flying backwards. Oh, jeez. The other bird's checking it out. I don't know what it is, man. It's probably how the scripting works. 
But I feel like every king of the desert, we have some weird shenanigans with birds. Oh, every map, dude. There's some there's some weird like invisible walls that happen where they just kind of bounce back and forth. <laughs> Viper's going for the full walls. These walls aren't invisible. Yeah. But you notice yeah, there there is a theme here if you look at how some of the other games were played, right? This is a map thing. Mm -hmm. And Viper needed this. We saw it from Hera in the Khmer game. And then Viper had to play open here. Hera, he's just like, well, full walling this is impossible. So I'm going to have to open with the army. Viper, I expect to be extremely defensive and then move out later on in Feudal. He does not want to leave himself exposed here. Yep, pretty clean opening for the Viper. He does have a villager exposed on his wall here. And Hera's got to ask some questions of Viper there, but we'll obviously recognize Viper's got great quick walling. Ooh, nice. Just even out the HP. Yeah, true. Between these two, basically. Hera still has a slight advantage there. Three HP advantage. Uh, <laughs> Look Frank's at Scout with a little bit more, and Viper goes into the stable, and he's going to have scouts of his own soon. And Viper just says, you're not going to attack that Wallville. <laughs> yeah. I know you won't, because I have my scout here, and Hera absolutely will not do that. But Hera Birds coming forward with a spear a and a scout right now. The bird has found a friend. <laughs> They're now stuck in the loop. <laughs> Almost find this more interesting than the game thus far. Now, Hera, will he see it? Oh, he can see it. I remember a game in the past where Hera signaled the birds and was like, mm -hmm. what is this? Now, one is now flapping his wings and the other one's just soaring. It's gliding, dude. It's gliding. It's it's riding a, an updraft. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, there they go. They're free now. Hera, more HP on his scouts, looking for damage. He could recognize there's a big difference in the map layout. He's got very little pressure on him compared to when the series started, right? So mm -hmm. there's ever a time to maybe be overly aggressive, try and force the issue here. This would be it. His eco is really smooth at home, I'm noticing, with the farms. Oh, but nice house is there. You got to get a palisade. He doesn't get it. Oh, man, that's annoying. And that's that going to be a dead bill for Viper. For sure. And Viper lost the scout at the front. Is he able to save this? He is not. Yikes. Hera takes out the first bill. Viper Yikes. is stabilizing, though. He's Dude, stabilizing. Is... Viper, like, he just had a bunch of idols underneath. He's going to lose another villager. Just disastrous from the Viper here as Hera gets another villager kill. It, uh, he should. And He's Viper goes for it. the quick wall. The important for Viper, he was able to get that because this is already flowing so horribly for him economically. He's had villagers pulled off of berries. He hasn't had as many farms. And he's lost the villagers. Trying to save this woman, and he'll get ba her back to the TC. Another weak guy over there, and we know that Hera's going to be looking at the HP bars of these. Behind this, Hera's kind of slowly housewalling himself. Yep. He's getting his uh, walls set up at the back, and Viper is really struggling to deal with these scouts. No pre-walls. It's a limited number of scouts here from Hera, but they have the extra Frank H HP. and He's oh, lost three boy. games. He might not feel like he's playing his best. It could be some level of exhaustion. You, you don't really know all the factors, but you could just see Viper just not playing up to the standard we know is possible right now. And again, like the food eco is so bad that right now Hera has double. And that's a weak villager on a farm. Th this is almost GG if Hera uh, continues to make scouts here. Viper can't make any. Yeah, Viper needs a wall in front of that TC. He needs to prevent these... Uh, scouts from coming in, but Hera is now coming in on this side. Viper's going to try and quick wall this, maybe. What's going on here? He's not making a house near the wood line. He made one near the TC, and the scouts are coming in. There is a bunch of weak scouts there, and there's a spearman, but Viper he pulled the spearman away for some reason. He's going to lose another villager. He's distracted on the right-hand side, Dave, and you're in full adaptation mode at this point. Hera <laughs> getting real excited there. He wanted another villain. He knows he's been close to killing so many. I think Hera Viper pulls one. Adding more farms. I think Viper pulls or, or Hera pulls one scout here and sends it the other way to try and distract. Yep. And it's still very not nice move. the worst thing. In, it's not the worst thing in the world for Viper. Hera's eco is looking pretty good, but he has had some idle TC time behind this. And like we said before, Viper has been very good at making vills mm -hmm. um, this set. And if we look at the total resources collected, well, Hera, Hera's a ahead by a bunch. Never mind, six hundred. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's rough. It, it was close to enough to finish it in Feudal, in Viper's mind. But now it's all about early castle. And what a great job from Hera just to take initiative. 
Remember, Hera had his advantages with the maps before, but I think Viper absolutely had his advantage here. Oh, this villager is weak. He should this be killed. This bill on the walls is weak. There's another one that might get killed there. Hera's going to see these two bills at the front, but the Spearman is coming over to help. And Viper has gotten the wall off down there. There might still be a hole between the houses. There is. And things are going to continue to be messy for him. But 22 on food for Viper. Yeah, it is. It just it feels like a very defeated Viper right now. Hera having fun. Running around with the scouts. Playing fully open at home. Viper, no potential for a counterattack. The thing about Hera, though, is his macro is actually perfect. Viper hasn't even pulled the weak villagers from the berries, right? Like, there's still weak vills everywhere. These are opportunities for Hera that probably shouldn't be there. Yeah, and it's very frustrating just kind of... You know, running around with spears trying to catch scouts. But the yep. scouts do take some damage from that TC. Hera's about to click up to Castle Age. Viper is going for a market. Hera will see this and target that villager just to be annoying. So many weak vills. I want to see the total HP on villagers. Yeah, Viper's missing like 300 HP. He's only lost two, right but now. it could be he could be down another four or five pretty soon. But Dave, yeah. like it's... He's, he's chasing the same area with three spearmen. You have to have them split up in different positions here. And Hera's up. And, and man, like, I can't help but draw some parallels if we're talking about maybe confidence with Micro. Remember the previous game? I know it went on for a long time. But remember mm -hmm. Viper had four scouts past Hera's walls and then he just left? Dead Vils. Hera gets in and he's like, yeah, I'm going to kill Vils all day. And he kills two more villagers. And he sees and the other one on the gold her. as well. That needs to be yeah, pulled I mean, back to the TC. There's plenty of weak villagers here. There's another one on the farm that Go Viper's to the town pull center. Away. Uh, Viper, oh, I think God. is. I think he's lost hope, Dave. I, I don't want to be too negative here, man. But this is. He's not doing himself any favors. Ay ay ay. This is frustrating for sure. You, you're just waiting for that moment where you can finally stabilize. Yeah. And it hasn't happened, right? The only positive element here for Viper is that Harris had a little bit more idle TC time, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Viper will have access to camels. He adds one scout now, and he will try and use that scout to uh, kill the others because the spearmen aren't really working for him. And I'd be curious if Hera booms. He is bringing a villager oh, somewhere another forward. villager, dude. Oh, like, how is he getting this value? Whew. I didn't catch that one. I actually assumed that hair was finished. Was You're it a, a weak gone. bill, I guess? It was a little bit weak. He attacked it with two weak scouts, and Viper committed with the villager war. And it, it was just so difficult for Viper mm -hmm. to deal with. Yep. And Viper, thankfully, is walled, right? So there shouldn't be any more problems for him, but he'll know he's behind, and he's going to be going into camels, something Hera expects. So naturally, Hera is going to be making the monks, and Viper will see this now, and I'm sure this isn't feeling any better for him. Because At least he spotted it early, though. Yeah. He should I mean, know he needs his own monks here, I think, if you're Viper. You just go into into Pikeman here for Viper. Like, he, he makes camels, I guess, and he's going for double monastery of his own. He needs to wall off this villa. He's got the spearmen still here. Viper, hello? I, again, it's, he's just not all there right now, Dave. After losing the first three games, Hera's going to run in. Delays the monasteries and is going to kill two more villagers. Worth it to lose the night. I think it's worth it because the monasteries aren't up for Viper as well here. As that's villager kill number eight for Hera. And he goes right back to the monasteries. And Viper's sending five vills there. And there's going to be two knights running right back in. And Hello? you got to have a house here from Viper, right? Okay, there we go. Now you've got a monk coming out from Hera. So the camels aren't going to scare him all that much. Hera on two TCs. Massive lead. And, and maybe a and, first and mistake Hera's from Hera here. Throwing, yeah, he's kind of throwing away HP here. And Hera's also like a minute and 21 idle TC time. So Viper's not that far behind an eco. <laughs> if Viper manages to pull off this comeback from this start, it's a brand new series. Because <laughs> like that was rough, man. That was a, that was I, a rough last 10 minutes. I don't him. know. I don't. I, I don't. Not trying to be mean here. I don't know if I've ever wanted to look away from a Viper game quite like this one. <laughs> so the recovery's here. He's dropping the second TC. He's got the camels. He's got the monks. And this is what Viper would have wanted to arrive to 
with this mm -hmm. type of matchup. He just would have wanted to save a few more villagers first. Ooh, Hera might lose some weak knights. Usually he's saving these, and he loses three of them, Tristan, and he takes a fight there against the camels. He's going to lose knight numbers. What an interesting game we have here, Dave. Yeah, what is happening? TC coming from Viper, and Viper's bringing the relics. We're starting to get a little bit excited here, and maybe Viper is too, because <laughs> no one expected him to be in this position after chasing scouts around. Uh, it was like it was at the circus or something, just going circles around his base. I think, you know, the vil kills got so easy there for Hera. He just kind of felt like I can continue on here and lost his night numbers. And now is when you start to feel weird as the Franks, right? You don't want to go into archers. And you don't want to go into knights either. I think you have to go into pikemen as your option. But that might Maybe. take some time to build up. And Viper's monks could always convert the spears quite easily too. So you kind of need something else in combination with those pikes. Viper might, he might be pissed right now. <laughs> he yeah, he got angry really with himself. Annoyed. Yeah. Yeah, with himself and also probably with Hera running around with those scouts like that. Um, so we'll see what he can muster. Hera still has a really solid economy behind this though. Franks are going to help out a ton with that instant heavy plow and he's getting wheelbarrow. His main gold will be an issue, but Viper doesn't have any range units yet and he's just now going for that siege workshop mm -hmm. and Hera's got Scouts on the field. He's going to try and loop them around. Conversions do not come in. Wow, all right. Now, Hera can't really use his monastery on the front. So he's just got the one at home to work with. But he knows Viper's got two monasteries sending monks forward. And so he's looking for these monks. Or maybe not. He didn't know the TC was there. But he will get this next one. So that's very well played from Hera. Viper's got ten camels. Viper's got five monks. Hera has two monks and nine knights. Like, the army is way better right now for the Viper. And he has recovered, Dave. We have ourselves a game somehow. Do you keep adding in, like, do you add in pikemen here for Viper? If you're Viper, I think no. Do you it, go rede oh, redemption, dude? Convert the stables at the front. Force I like that. a fight from Hera. Could be really, really good. And he's got more monks coming forward. And if Hera goes for siege defense, he, could, he can do this. Man, I also would love this. I wouldn't mind atonement from Viper if you have the gold. Because maybe I think Malians get it. I'm actually not certain, but they it, do. They do. You could convert the enemy monks, but that's only if you're floating the gold and you don't want to send more monks forward here. Great job from Hera again, but he doesn't have light cav, Dave, and this could actually be now oh, he's gonna get the kills here. It ends up being more than worth it for him to come forward with the scouts mm -hmm. yet again. Viper trying to get the knights. He's trying to snipe the monks from Hera. He doesn't snipe that one. He's going to snipe the other two. There we go. They go down, and the camels are engaging against the monk monks here at the front. And Hera loses most of his monks still on the he back sniped foot. He sniped the Mangonel, though. He sniped the first Mangonel with the, with the scout. Ooh, wow. Those scouts got such value from Hera. Yeah. The scout's been his best unit in this game, right? <laughs> Obviously, in the early stages, and then here as well. Hera's still making knights. Like, do you think that there should be pikemen out? Like, I feel like you gotta try it, maybe, but he just wants if numbers. He if he controls the the monk numbers, the knights are actually gonna look okay here against yeah. these camels. That's true. And especially if Viper gets near the stables, we might see Hera engage just to kill these these monks. Oh, and why'd you pull oh, the Viper! camels away, bro? Why'd you pull the camels away there? And then the scout's going you know in for the mango again. The siege isn't going to accomplish too much. And I think Hera can actually clear this entire push. He's back in business yet again. Viper doesn't have attack. He doesn't have armor, Dave. He's been all in. He is 25 on gold with 9 on food. The knights are coming. The knights are coming. Oh, and geez. the monks simply aren't there. Viper calls the GG. It just feels like he didn't need to get that aggressive with the monks under the stables there. And you should have kept the camels nearby as well. Like, it just some misplays, right? Mm -hmm. After getting yourself back into that position, obviously the beginning was not good. And the quick walls were missing. You know, the, the full walls were missing. The spearman micro, the villager micro was not there. But still, I mean, Hera is probably like the only player that can do what he, what just happened to Viper at the beginning of the game. With three different groups of scouts wandering around picking off vills. Like, Hera's incredible. I, I and, agree. Uh, I agree with the fact yeah. he's incredible. He's been playing incredible. I think the one thing that needs to be mentioned if, if you have to question what viper just did is he thinks he's like 25 bills behind right he doesn't know it's 65 bills for 69 because he lost eight bills 
and he knows Hera's probably on three town centers. So it wasn't that close in his mind, which was likely why he tried to force the fights. But we've seen Peak Viper before. We're obviously currently seeing Peak Hera. Peak Viper uses this map to perfection. He mm -hmm. never loses a villain feudal. It is the easiest wall he could have asked for in King of the Desert. And the fact that he lost eight villagers makes me very concerned that that comeback might not be possible for him. I'm hoping for the craziest reverse sweep ever, or at mm -hmm. least to somehow get it to game nine. But man, I mean, you just lost with your number two civilization. Hera hasn't played with number one or number two. It's just not looking good. Here we are, game five. Wouldn't have expected this result at this stage from either side. I think everyone expected this to go to seven or eight games, but oh, what Hera... What a good map for Hera with the Chinese too. Oh, and then Viper's gold. And... Oh, yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, Hera's playing as the Chinese, like you said, Dave. It's one of the best civilizations if you can have a clean start. His rhinos are mm -hmm. on the back. His berries are on the back. His wood lines are insane to wall. And for Viper, he's going to need his golds. And it might be a bit of an uphill battle to use that gold with this game as the Britons because his gold is, well, it's up a hill. Yep. Well, Viper might find the goats. He needs a little bit of luck here, right? Yeah. Viper needs a little bit of luck. He's trying to find Hera. Over on this side, he sees some stragglers. He was afraid that DC might be there, but there's the wood line. Can he see anything that would indicate Hera is here? He's missed the house. He's missed the gold. <laughs> okay, he <laughs> finds it. Yeah, but now he doesn't know what direction the town center is. And yeah. based on what he's seen, he's going to assume it's the other way, and it is absolutely not. Hera also bringing in his rhino early, and like we said, they've spawned near the back, so there's never really any crazy chance that viper would get that so i think for viper like you said needed a little bit of luck maybe just to get back on track here doesn't get it with the laming aspect of the game so we got to talk more about like his military right and i think with the britons it's all through the archer line you do have the cheap tcs which you can fall back to but uh, we've seen situations in the series where viper's fallen back to town centers and not really had the castle age control so I think if Viper mm. can have 20-some crossbows, early castle age, that's where Britons are going to shine. And, and for Hera, feudal age. And it's actually, for Chinese in general, it's like mid of each age. So mid-feudal, they feel very strong. Mid-castle, if they're not already dead, they're, they're one of the strongest. But he could, Man. Viper could take the four-tile gold if he sees this. If you're planning on walling, which is something Britons typically want to do, you, you could get there and be resourceful with the four-tile gold, similar to what Hera did in that Khmer game. Mm -hmm. But still a lot of walling to do. We talk about it because it's something to talk about, but you still got to control the map with some army here. Viper could have found four goats at the front of Hera's base if he only turned right instead yep. of left. Yep. That was uh, kind of unfortunate for him, but it was probably like statistically the right decision to go left because there's more map area over there to explore and he was looking to find that he is going to find his own goats and he's going to start pushing in his ostrich and his zebra and we just have to wonder like what's the uptime going to look like for viper is he going to play into castle age again is he going to be behind in military to hera again early in the game yeah I, it, you were definitely going to be behind economically against chinese from here it's just there's nothing viper can do to really change that, which is why Chinese is number one pick for both. It's just if you get lamed, that changes. I think Hera's going to go for the build we saw from him against um, Vinchester. I think he might go 20 pop fast archers here, Dave. I think we see a mining camp instead of a, a mill. But then again, actually, his base is probably more suited for scouts than anything because of yeah, the wall potential. Yeah. yeah. But still will be really fast. This is this is amazing build from him. Everything's gone perfect in Dark Age. Didn't even lose a hundred food. Yep, only twenty seven seconds of idle TC time. Maybe could have shaved like four, three or four seconds off of that. But you're always gonna have some with Chinese. Yep, and it's a really good economy so far uh, for Hera. Viper's still ahead on total res collected, but we'll wait for Hera to drop this stuff off. Remember, Viper does get the bonus with the goats as Britons, so that's quite nice have a little bit of faster collection uh, as he goes for the barracks and he clicks up now 19 population from viper 21 population from hera the same uptime it feels like viper could be building up towards man at arms and going to gold late 
could be archers actually off this build as well. Most likely archers. And there he goes to the gold. The gold's not that bad if you if you think about how this game has to play out, right? Like, there's no way you could just full wall with no army against mm -hmm. the Chinese. So taking your exposed gold shouldn't be questioned that much because that's the area you're going to want to have some control of. No militia for Viper. Will be archers for Hera. He just wants to protect his lead as you should with the Chinese. And pretty cool and, and calm opening here. But he is late on the... Uh, he's very late, actually, for the wood for a barracks. And also the archer ranger stable. He doesn't have that available right now. I mean, he's walling up, right? You spend the wood on the walls and you don't have an extra villager chopping away. He's busy building. So Hera is not going to hit that timing. If Viper comes forward early, he could punish him. Mm -hmm. But maybe Hera is taking advantage of the fact that Viper has played relatively passively. And Viper is like only building the range with one villager. He's going for houses on the other side, trying to wall up a little bit. And the pressure won't be coming forward. He's not even going for a spearman here. Yep. So Hera sees the uh, archer range and knows he'll have a little bit of time. And as long as he's protected from whatever pressure it is, he should feel comfortable. And Hera could obviously still go for scouts. He's got a lot of food for it, but I think he could easily justify skirms as well. Weird how he hasn't, like, gotten double bed axe yet. I think he's just the wood for the building. Oh, there or not. Go. And horse collar. Yeah. Well, if there's Finally. any Civ you really want to be greedy <laughs> and get that with, it's the Chinese, right? Yeah, yeah. Viper doesn't have any vision on Hera at the moment. He knows he's probably to the north because he didn't find him on the other side, but he doesn't actually know that Hera isn't committing a lot. And it reminds me of what Viper did against MBL in the series yesterday, where he just kind of walled and went eco. Mm -hmm. But I mean, archers still could have an effect if the player's walled. So it is he very greedy see the Hera. range. He sees no range. Mm -hmm. Obviously can't spot the gold. No idea on the location, only sees the secondary gold. And now he's going to try and sneak in here for a little bit of extra vision. At this point, because the go back to work hockey still doesn't work, if you can force your opponent to garrison enough times, it, it, it's yeah, something. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yep. And All right, Viper. Are, are we coming forward with these archers? Hera has absolutely nothing here to stop you. Are we coming forward with these, or are we just chilling? For now... There might be some level of paranoia. Like the buildings could be behind. We gotta come forward. But you've first. gotta you've gotta move we out and try something yeah. here. And Hera's yeah. looking. Hera's like, what's he doing? Because Hera wants to know if he has to add the archer range or not. And if you don't show archers, if you don't show any type of threat, Hera's just gonna go up to knights, basically. Look at the food count already. Mm -hmm. Hera's just still farming. Uh, Viper, I guess, just uncertain on things and maybe wants to wait till Castle Age from here, but make an army you got to use it attack those walls I mean, if he gets up at a competitive time it's not the worst thing that he's been massing army all through feudal age that he can upgrade right mm -hmm. but it's like if your opponent full walls like this you gotta put some pressure on i think he's it, it's so bold from Hera, maybe that he's just not expecting this level of risk maybe and he's waiting for something like we did say conserve army mass so that's what viper's thinking He's not rushing fletching. It's not like he's rushing attack upgrades and not moving out. But, I mean, look at Hera's resources. This is just a full feudal boom with Chinese. This is the easiest game he's ever had with the Chinese thus far. And this is Viper, like, kind of maybe giving him too much credit. What is Hera doing with that scout, dude? <laughs> he's, like, thinking about attacking. He wants Viper to try and right-click the villager back to attack it. But mind games don't work. And Hera's about to click up to the castle age. Viper's eco... Not looking too bad, though. Mm -hmm. Not looking too bad. Archer range for Hera. Six bills in the queue for Viper, so he's got more food than you think. And now Hera sees the archer. So now Hera's like, okay, I guess I need to make skirms now. Great attentiveness from him, we have to say. Um, Because that could have been this one is, archer uh, from Viper. He could have just been hiding it. You want Viper to really mix it up? This is one villager siege towerable. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave, 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 I'm pretty sure the siege towers are bugged oh, in no. this as well. So in this patch and the current patch, if you lose a siege tower and there's 10 units inside, when the siege tower is destroyed, only three units survive. <laughs> oh, no. How does that even make sense? I don't know, but I experienced <laughs> like... it on Amazon Tunnel, okay? <laughs>
Dude, Viper is not that far behind. Yeah, with just clicking up. Just uncue that archer and you can go up. Uncue the archer. Uncue. Yeah, he's fine. You want the archer anyways, he needs, right? He needs the second building anyway. He needs the blacksmith. Yeah, true. He's building it now. Yeah, blacksmith will go up. So what does Hera see of Viper's base? Hera sees the golds. Hera knows there were at least six archers. So now he's going to make the skirms. Dude, I just think his eco is going to be set up to be able to go full skirm and boom. You do have the Britain range to worry about, but... Viper's not going to have that early cast age timing. Look at these uptimes, by the way. Viper's probably thinking my uptime's fast. As Hera loses his scout, I think he's going to be frustrated there. The scout was moving the direction you would want to move to dodge, but... I I do love the spearman from Viper. It kind of like, it keeps track of any production buildings <laughs> coming. It makes sure it's still open there. Yeah. It can track... It could track all the army coming across. Like it is, he, it is doing an excellent job. He wants a proper burial for his friend, so he's like, he's making sure that they don't steal the the body here. So he could take it home, and give it the burial he deserves. And Viper's going back wisely. I think he he realizes that Hera's already up, so he's gonna add a stable. Actually, because he thinks Hera's gonna go into skirms, which is exactly correct. Well, if actually what happened there was the TC fires, he saw fletching. And mm. and then he adds the stable there. So that's great awareness from Viper with the Spearman. You, you just need to get close enough to click the TC to see it. But if the TC fires, you have so an opportunity to check. So you're saying he baited check. it out? Yeah, maybe. That would be next level if he did that. <laughs> It'd be next level if Hera never garrisoned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's the skirms. I think Hera knows his opponent's expecting this anyways. And there's elite skirm. Actually, no elite skirm yet for Hera, but it's in the queue. And he goes for a monastery because he knows his the counter Viper will have to his skirms will likely be knights here. Mm -hmm. So both scouts are dead, and we've got a bit of a sneaky army from Viper. Viper's got a solo archer waiting for the skirms to come across. He adds a knight immediately, crossbow bodkin. Awareness is still there for Viper, even though he hasn't been uh, scouting Hera early. He has started now, and Hera will go for the siege workshop. As Viper f tries to find value with his archers. This could be an important timing hit. for the Viper. If Viper can use these crossbows to kill Vils or find that monk. He kills a villager there. Viper needed that. And now the He's monk can't the freely back. move uh, out of the monastery because of the crossbow positioning from Viper, and who goes double TC at home right now. And Siege Workshop. So yeah. double TC, and he's got the wood for the Siege Workshop because of Britons. Wow. Now, is he going to be able to produce out of three TCs and the Siege Workshop? Another question. But so far, he's found some decent value. That monk needs to get out of here against think, Britain crossbows. I think the crossbows also need to consider the same thing because the monk's now behind. And Hera may be How kicking that himself range? a oh little bit, but that was a 12-range conversion, it looks like. Yeah, Viper Whoa. obviously surprised by that. It didn't seem like it was in, within range, but max range from that monk gets the knight, and the knight comes forward. No yeah. armor upgrades on it or anything, so we'll die to the crossbows. Hera's just going to be a little bit annoying with this, though. Yeah, that that losing that knight is kind of brutal if you had the siege out. It's not that big a deal right now, but Skirms are going to back away for Hera. He was going to go push Viper, decided against it. He doesn't get the 12 range conversion there. Viper backed away immediately. But Hera's on three TCs. So Hera will have a, a ridiculous economy from here. He can always make more skirms. And he might want to consider a stable in the near future. Once you get to about like 25, 26 farms, that's when I think you can go for the stable. But Viper with an attack round. He needed he, it. He dude, gets it. I was it. just about to say, like, is does he have the balls to pop out of that siege workshop? Woo! Because so often Hera would just micro around that, and he did. He did have the balls to pop out and get that shot, and suddenly Hera's on the back foot. He's only got one monk left over. The converted knight is gone, and the siege is on the way with the Briton crossbows, and it's three TC behind this from Viper. You know, we've had some questions about viper in this series at times and it's because been because of Hera's dominance but such a great job from viper there to continue to move out and continue to push forward and Hera kind of let one like slip there right like you don't mm -hmm. want the skirms to stick around the siege workshop for that long you don't mm -hmm. want to be that exposed even though you're viper up for real like he was playing so passively in this set he was never taking risks like that that Hera just he saw the flag but he assumed that viper would never pop out because the knight 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hera is dropping the staples, but what he was hoping for was to have about 16, 17 skirms with the knights. And now with one more shot from Viper, suddenly the skirms are all gone it's a, for Hera. It's a really good farming eco for Hera, though. 37 place farms. I know mm -hmm. a bunch of them are going to be idled here at the front, but yep. Hera once again showing off his macro. And he's going for the stables behind. And, you know, if he keeps the farmers working, he's going to have the food and the gold for the upgrades and the knights. It's just a question about timing right now and he's gonna have to buy himself time with the skirms you could tell how confident Hera is that knight skirm will win this fight because he hasn't added his own siege if this does not work you have to question when up against mangonels and when up against crossbowmen why are we not seeing your own siege but as Hera tries to continue to dodge here he wants to go for the mango and backs way to heal up he has Villager's believed that with the cheaper text that he can do this villagers coming forward from viper and it's that's a gather villages. that no that's a gather point that's oh, a gather yeah, point true. issue for viper they're coming from all the tcs oh god maybe he just buys a castle now that the villas are forward. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most relatable thing you've ever said to me yeah <laughs> i mean he has three there now to repair i mean it works out buy a castle bro just buy a castle Hera's gonna be like what the hell he was on stone yeah <laughs> just Buy a castle, Viper. But, I know it's not your style, but you can do it, dude. Yo would want. Yo would do it, right? We know how good Yo is with that he style. He should do it. He should. He it's should. the Britain style. Archers forward Does castles. He, he doesn't have a market. He doesn't have a market to buy it. Mm -mm. Also, mm. it's so easy for Harris. He's playing some dangerous games here. But it's so I mean, easy for him to get these texts now for these knights because yeah. he's Chinese. So they should start flying in. We should see plus two armor. We should see bloodlines for Hera. Viper has 18 crossbows and two mangoes, but that's it. We need a market, Viper. We need a market. Imagine if he had started building a castle. Hera would have had to, like, He would be YOLO. forced to engage. Yep. He, he would have been so panicked because that castle would have been on two TCs here and his farming eco. And now the plus two is coming in for the knights. Viper still does have a bunch of crossbows forward here, but is 18 crossbows really enough without ballistics? Viper will now go for an outpost. Still attacking that TC, idling a little bit from Hera, but he's got 1,200 gold in the bank. Yeah, just one range, Dave. He doesn't have that many crossbowmen. 20 is still good, but when there's going to be 12 or so knights plus the skirmishers. Also, Hera's done a really unique thing here. He is essentially uh, forcing Viper to attack his skirms instead mm -hmm. of the TC, the TC by hopping yeah. in and out like this. It's really unique because normally you'd have a lot more Vils repairing if you weren't doing yeah. this, but it's just like, this is whoop. fantastic yeah. from Hera. I mean, like, and the fact he's only lost a few skirmishers, now that I say that, he's probably gonna get nuked, but I mean, this is just such, this is a quintessential Hera play. Yeah. He's got eco behind, he's got the farm set up, he's got perfect macro, he's making a tech switch, he's waiting for his moment, and he's defending against all of this with nothing but skirms. In the front, it gets mangonels, and here come the knights, the viper's gonna have to get some big attack rounds. He gets one that actually does decent damage. The second one could be decent as well as he hits some of the skirms, but he will lose all of his siege here. It's just how many crossbows will he have? Oh, man. Uh, Dave, I'm, I'm concerned for Viper here. He's falling back. It's not going to be a forward castle anymore. It'll be a defensive castle. There's not many skirms from Hera. If there were more skirms from Hera, Viper would be completely dead. So he has to micro his heart out, but the university's in the middle of the map. That's not a good sign, and the eco for Hera is still so much greater here. The knights are dying. The knights are dying, but so are the crossbow members. Yep. And Viper no longer has that position, and like we said, Hera's got the eco behind with three stables to keep producing these knights. University is being denied. Why are we making university there? We don't know. The knights are clearing everything up, and Viper has 2,100 gold in the bank, and he's just now going for a market. Yep. Like, imagine if he had even just... Yoloed the market down when he was in that position with the five bills early, and Hera had what three knights, mm -hmm. and then it bought the stone for it. It would have been such a good spot for Viper. Listen, Viper's a player who we've just grown, we've grown used to him being on it, right? Yeah, him delivering with a level of consistency that maybe no one's ever shown. One of the rare times in a final, you, you look at it and you just say, Well, it is just not the Viper we've seen in the past. But here's the thing. That was incredible what Hera just did. In and out of the mm -hmm. TC, back and forth, back and forth, back and yep. forth. Uh, buying time and, and then picking the right moments. And I think it would have been, if Viper had a little bit more army, if he would have had the castle on the front, still could have been a denial there, right? Still could have been a situation 
where I mean, Hera is clearing incredible. it up. He's playing insane, and also, the Chinese is a civilization that can simply do this. Viper didn't really apply any pressure in Feudal, didn't try. Hera took advantage of it by not adding any army in Feudal here on Arabia. The Viper's way back is going to be through Archers, Dave. He's got nine right now. He is close to clicking up to Imp, though, so there is that. Hera is also close to clicking up to Imp. He's getting Handcart. Viper's getting Wheelbarrow. But uh, the eco for Viper is still decent, right? Mm -hmm. Hera adding that fourth TC is starting to stretch out for the golds. His farming economy looks amazing. And he's on the way up to Imp. He's also on stone. So maybe think about securing the front of his base with some castles. The main stone is a little bit exposed. Viper would love a castle at the front there on that hill in front of the secondary gold, if possible. Um, he was forced to put the first one a little bit defensively. He should be able to get away with one at the front. Yeah, Harris, he's really playing insane here. Mm -hmm. like the timings on everything's perfect. His castle will come up forward, most likely. He'll be in a position to go for Cavalier and Elite Skirm. He's gone three relics right now, looking for extra neutral resources and relics. Finally, a second archer range for Viper. Yeah. He did actually start making one in the, uh, like in the middle of the map as well, near where that university was, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the we're going... We're going late game here, and I mean, it's going to be Skirm Cavalier against these crossbows, and Hera's going to find the crossbows in a really vulnerable position. Yeah. Viper will need to hide those. It's it's such a painful position for Viper, because you're like, I have to do something because I'm so far behind. And then you move out, and it's like Hera knows you're moving out there, and he sees it. Yeah. He, he really can't move out at all. And now Viper's going to lose all of his army right before him to make matters even worse for him. This is rough. Viper might tap out when he sees Imp here. He, he probably doesn't want to resign too early. You know, he doesn't want to seem, you know, overly defeated. Doesn't want to be disrespectful to the tournament or anything along those lines. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, he's got so little army here, unfortunately for him. And Hera Hera's should drop a looking, castle here. Like, Hera's looking the way Viper used to look against opponents, where it's just like, what do you need to do mm -hmm. to beat this guy? And if you're not going to pressure him, he's just going to go greedy and adapt yep. and not make any fuel army. And if you pressure him, well, he's going to defend with the skirms underneath the TC hopping in and out. You can't land a single Magnol shot, even after you clear up his army in the middle. And then he's always going to get to him before you with a better army. And look at this. Look at this army count. 37 military for Hera. And just total confidence in every decision that's made. No hesitation. And perfect game flow uh, every mm -hmm. single way through. Again, the parallel I'll draw earlier. Hera gets through the Viper scouts in the previous game. Or, or, sorry, with his scouts. Kills a bunch of Vils. Viper gets through the game before that. Viper says, well, not sure I can actually do anything with this. Let's leave, right? Hera's got full belief in himself here. This is the first time he's made it this far in a King of the Desert. But he's been on fire. And let's see if he can finish off the Viper here in what would be a 5-0 sweep in King of the Desert 5 Finals. Viper, there's a hole there. You need to wall it. I know you've gone for the university. He's building the university. The university's down, and the knights are in. But the crossbows are coming over, and the castle is up. So Hera needs to back away. Viper has no exposed castles for Hera to treb just yet. And mm -hmm. Viper does have 26 crossbows. But we already have the <laughs> cavalier in with the skirmishers behind from Hera. Still, it's a fairly secure base at the moment for the snake. It, it's really interesting, man. Like, Britons are hard to push. Mm -hmm. They're hard to push with, which is going to be a problem with lack of mobility. Hera's got tons of res, though. Like, he could have 40 Cavalier right now with these resources. 50 on food as well. Yeah. The, the problem with Chinese is, like, you don't you don't have Paladin, right? Yeah, so, like, I know. You are good. Cap. <laughs> if he was a Paladin Civ, he'd be, uh, well, he'd be in a really good position right now. But he's going to be forced to tech into a bunch of things as the trap now comes over. Viper doesn't have... Any melee units to deal with that. The pikemen are on the left side. And the final armor upgrade is coming in for the skirms now. And the thing is, is it's really hard for Viper to react and, and win a game from here, right? So you either give up your cast on the right side, which means you're even further behind. Or you address it, and then you're giving up your gold in the middle, which means you're further mm -hmm. behind. You don't do either of those things. Hera's going to take more map on the left side because he's got vision and he's going to take that stone. Like, that castle Hera placed on the left side, that's him saying this game is over. There's no way I and lose this game. Viper is sending all the trebs over to the right. So he's going to sit on that hill behind these walls. 
and he's going to snipe the trebs. I'd love to see Hera just snipe that one tree and go in with the cavalier. <laughs> snipe it with the treb. <laughs> what? Oh, how? It, because the treb died when the, the thing was on the way. Oh. The treb died when the shot was on the way, which means that the tree was chopped down, but it wasn't killed. Interesting. The HP was taken off, but it wasn't killed. In the past, it, trebs wouldn't even do any damage against buildings if they went down while the shot was in there. But I didn't know I that when never they fixed seen that... that that that's I how that works. I've never seen that, dude. Is that why never that happened? I wonder. That. I guess we'll have to investigate I, that later. I mean... It makes sense. I, it does make sense. We'll have to do some tests on that. But here come the Cavalier now. Ripping through the Pikemen. No the Arb. are retreating. No Halb. The Arbalist is in. Halb is just in right now. Yeoman is coming from behind that. The castle is there to help out Viper. But Hera is just rolling in here with this army no arbalest no halb he's been an imp for a while here i think we knew it would probably be bad but it's actually so much worse than i thought it would be and viper congratulates oh him he knows what it's like to sweep somebody in a final and he knows what it's like to win a king of the desert and congratulations Hera. yeah uh, he looked so clean on the opposite side of the bracket i talked about it before the finals just Hera seems to be playing the most optimal play right now and then he just beat one of the greatest player, if not the greatest player of all time, 5-0 on Arabia, the most played map in Age of Empires 2 history. That is wild, dude. Hera is so good. Oh, my God. Like, it just, it felt like it was just inevitable. Mm -hmm. like it absolutely did. Yeah, every it's, game. It's wild. Every single game. So, congratulations to him. Overall, uh, a little bit of a disappointing final. You want to see... A more competitive final, but it can happen in competition. The uh, the level was high in this one, but I think Hera never went to the brink of elimination in all of his sets. I think the most he lost was two, which was against Vinchester. Uh, that series mm -hmm. was four two. Uh, best wishes to the Snake, obviously, because he's going to be feeling this one. I'm sure he's going to be disappointed in himself. He's got a lot of people who wanted to see more from him, but it's clear he gave his all today. It's just his all wasn't able to compete. Yeah, and Hera, it just forced him into so many mistakes that are so untypical, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was because he was winning all the fights, and he was putting pressure on early. And he completely read Viper like a book. Like, he took him out from the library, and then he came back, he put him back <laughs> at the <laughs> beginning <laughs> stage of the game. Because, like, he didn't make any military, and Viper felt no need to pressure the walls. Mm -hmm. I no think... Need. If we're going to judge Viper on the series, obviously all the games matter, but if we're really going to make assessments on how Viper played today, I think you have to look at games one through three. Game mm -hmm. four, clear as day, just the defeated Viper, wasn't feeling it, uh, it wasn't playing his best when those scouts got through, right? Just some sloppiness there. This game, it, it wasn't. it's not a Civ win, but Chinese is just the much better Civ if the Dark Age plays out like this. Had Especially Viper if been aggressive. If you, if you don't make them make any military, that's, if they're allowed to just agreed. get away with not making military, they're, they're so much better at that I, stage. Yeah, and I agree, but at the same time, what happens if Viper moves forward with the archers as Hera just adds skirms a bit earlier, and then everything that did happen just gets delayed by another minute or two in Castle. Um, but really, it's it just like the first couple games, and Hera, he came out firing, right? There was no warm-up period for him. And yeah. I think Viper even knew today that he was going to have to take some risks, which is why he had Dravidians game one, which mm -hmm. I'm not in love with, and why he had Bengalis on his draft if this series went to more games, because the meta stuff has really all been Hera. So, um, this, uh, yeah, this was a credible performance. Yep. Incredible. Can't say enough. Um, I think we would, we would have been talking about Hera more if the games have been closer, but we were Absolutely. so focused on like the potential for Viper coming back. Right. So I don't even know. I don't even know if we did Hera justice. It, it's so demoralizing because we know all the players in the scene to see someone getting swept, um, that it's hard to focus on like how amazing the other guy was playing. Yep. Yeah. It goes both ways. I think it's fair to say you can have someone who plays an elite level and someone who is slightly below their level has still not really taken anything away from the victor here. Hera by far the best Arabia player right now. And mm -hmm. uh, I think he's won the last two S tier tournaments right now too. So he's number one. He's the yeah, number. He's, he's number the number one, one currently in the game. Uh, and we'll see if that you know lights a fire underneath a couple other players uh, going throughout the rest of the year and whatever else comes competitively. Uh, final thing I'll say: big thank you to Memp and everyone involved in King of the Desert. It was fun casting the event. 
Uh, the players I know were, were really enjoying it. Like the latter, the last month or two has been insane. Everyone grinding, everyone excited. And there's been yep. some good moments. So, um, And obviously, thanks to you, bro. I had fun casting. I did too.